Chapter 2561 Clash of Divine Items Yi's Hikia was holding her ice divine sword, and in a blink of an eye, it vanished and reappeared in Daoist Heavenly Feather's hand. The moment it happened, a streak of cold light swept through the air. This cold light was not aimed at the old woman. It swept behind Long Chen and the others, going far into the distance. A river of ice appeared wherever the light passed. Space was frozen. Laws were frozen. People felt as if that sword chi had frozen the void. As a result, a chilling wind filled the air. The cold was so intense that it could freeze their souls. Daoist Heavenly Feather hadn't summoned her manifestation nor accumulated any power. It was just a casual swing of her sword. From a distance, it looked like a crescent moon of ice had appeared in the void. Just as it was about to strike the ground, it suddenly stopped. That's, suddenly, someone cried out. At the other end of the crescent moon was a crowned figure. People then looked over to the sea demon races area to see that the crowned elder had disappeared at some point. After that, they realized that as the old woman was facing Daoist Heavenly Feather, the crowned elder had snuck over to kill Long Chen and the others. But now he was frozen by Daoist Heavenly Feather's attack. Boom. The giant crescent moon then shattered, fading away like ice fragments in the air along with the crowned elder. He was killed. Everyone stared in shock, and even Long Chen's heart was pounding wildly. That crowned elder had given him a sense of immense pressure. Even if he wasn't as terrifying as this old woman, he was also not in existence Long Chen could fight currently. Using his heaven merging cultivation base, he had been trying to launch a sneak attack, only to be killed in one blow by Daoist Heavenly Feather. After a moment of shock, the Martial Heaven Alliance's side let out heaven shaking cheering. A supreme expert had finally appeared to support the Martial Heaven continent. No one had expected that the always Loki and amiable Daoist Heavenly Feather was a supreme expert. With her support, they would no longer need to be so afraid of the Divine Families. The old man and Kujinying, who had summoned the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet, were also surprised. Daoist Heavenly Feather had actually come out to support Long Chen, even killing the leader of the Sea Demon race. She stunned all of them. The Sea Demons were all horrified. That crowned elder was their demon emperor, but he had actually been killed in one blow. Not even his corpse remained. It's been so long since I fought. I'm not even able to control my power properly. I really have grown old. Sighed Daoist Heavenly Feather. The old woman's expression sank, and she harshly clenched her teeth. Hans Hikyu, are you trying to become enemies with the divine families? Even if you can control a trace of the Northern Source Sword's power. You can't resist us. What the Northern Source Sword, one of the Martial Heaven Continent's five supreme divine items. Every expert trembled, staring in disbelief at the sword in Daoist Heavenly Feather's hand. Wasn't the supreme treasure of the Divine Ice Palace known as the Ice Divine Sword? How did it become the Northern Source Sword of the five supreme divine items? Far too many shocking things had occurred today but not one of those things was as shocking as the appearance of the Northern Source Sword. Even Yi's Hikia was startled. She had had no idea that her sword was one of the five supreme divine items. I don't like being enemies with anyone, but if someone tries to bully the weak, I won't just stand to the side. Please don't use the divine families to intimidate me. I've lived countless years. If the divine families want to play, I don't mind accompanying you to death. Daoist Heavenly Feather's gentle and warm appearance began to change. An icy killing intent began to exude out of her. At this moment, she was surrounded by whirling ice chi that was cracking the space around her. It was as if the world was unable to contain her power. The current Daoist Heavenly Feather was like a completely different person. Even her words were no longer polite. Instead, they had become icy and domineering. You, the old woman was shocked. Even thousands of years of cultivation was unable to wipe away this part of me. If the divine families want to help me expel this darkness, I would be forever grateful. Snorted Daoist Heavenly Feather. Domineering. Callous. Murderous. Even Daoist Heavenly Feather's aura was changing. Shocking everyone. The Northern Source Sword has not been awakened. It is still unable to threaten the divine families. Novaloon.com just at this moment. A pair of hands reached out of the void and pulled it apart. An old man walked out. 
Grandpa Yi Liangchen hastily bowed. The old man nodded to him but didn't say anything. He looked at Long Chen first and then Daoist Heavenly Feather. He sneered. Long Chen killed a sovereign sprout of the divine families. So he must pay with his life. There is nothing else to say. Fuck your bullshit. Jarishan killed so many people in the Starfield Divine World. So us killing him is called retribution. There's nothing else to say. Cursed Guo Ran. The old man's expression immediately sank after he heard that. And he took out a giant bell. When Long Chen saw that bell, his heart pounded wildly. It looked a bit familiar. Why does it look so similar to the Eastern Wasteland Bell? Even the patterns are the same. Only its aura is different. A majestic aura unfurled from the bell, and it rapidly grew larger. Images of the sun, moon, and stars appeared on top of it. After that, the sound of a bell resounded through heaven and earth, and its divine might wreaked havoc upon the world. At this moment, the laws of the heavenly deos became visible, appearing as lines in the air. Those lines matched up to the sound of the bell, the eastern wasteland bell. A startled cry rang out, shocking countless others. The images and lines on this giant bell were identical to the legendary Eastern Wasteland Bell. The Eastern Wasteland Bell was the leader of the five supreme divine items. It was said to be the Martial Heaven Continent's strongest divine item, and it possessed the power to destroy the entire world. No, its aura is completely different. Long Chen was filled with questions as he looked at the bell. Back then, Long Chen had encountered the Eastern Wasteland Bell in the Immemorial Path. Although it was badly damaged and missing the majority of its body, its aura was filled with a sacred flavor, righteous and pure. Despite its body being broken down, that aura was not missing any pieces. On the other hand, this giant bell's aura was vast and majestic, but also sinister, tyrannical, and dark. It made others feel terror, not reverence. Just at this moment, the bronze fragment in Long Chen's primal chaos space shuddered emitting a faint cry. Long Chen jumped, hastily suppressing it. He couldn't let it release any fluctuations that the elder would sense. Long Chen could vaguely tell that the Eastern Wasteland Bell was related to the entire continent's secrets. Unfortunately, the Eastern Wasteland Bell had vanished and not reappeared ever since back then. If this bronze fragment was exposed, that would probably lead to a calamity. It's just a counterfeit. Its aura is similar but wrong. If you think a fake can suppress me, then you truly are naive, said Daoist Heavenly Feather coldly. In her battle state, even her voice became cold, and her aura was growing stronger and stronger. Ever since she grasped the Northern Source Sword, she began to transform into an ice goddess of war. As her aura was unleashed, the ground began to freeze and shatter. Ice Chi gradually spread, turning this area into a world of ice. Everyone had no choice but to retreat. Despite being so far away, the Ice Chi still made them feel terrified. They didn't dare to touch it. Big Sisters Hikyu, why didn't you tell us that your master was so powerful? If you had, we wouldn't have been shivering in fear, said Guo Ran. With such a powerful backer, he instantly began to grow arrogant. Even his words became relaxed. Unlike before when he didn't dare to speak in front of a heaven-merging expert, Long Chen shook his head. Please remove the we from your statement Gu Yang. Please remove the we from your statement Li Qi. Please remove the we from your statement Song Mingyuan. Please remove the we from your statement Yu Zifeng. Please remove the we from your statement Guo Ran. The tense atmosphere was instantly fractured. Under Long Chen's lead and the guy's disdainful gazes at Guo Ran, it was as if they were refusing to recognize him as one of them, causing Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang and the others to involuntarily chuckle. They also couldn't help feeling greater admiration for Long Chen. Even in front of terrifying heaven-merging experts, he could still joke around. Being able to do that in the face of death was not something many could do. However, Yi's Hikyu didn't smile. She said, My master taught me through dictation and never displayed any techniques. I had no idea about her true realm. I was once in a bottleneck for three months with a certain technique, and I asked her to display it for me, but she said that her mood wasn't good, and that as soon as she used her ice G, it would cause her temper to explode and very likely damage our relationship as master and disciple. That's why I have never seen her display even a single move. Everyone came to an understanding, 
No wonder Deo's heavenly feather had suddenly begun to transform from her previous amicable self. HMPH. Even if it's a counterfeit, it was created with the source chi of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Considering you haven't even gained the approval of the Northern Source Sword, it's enough to handle you, said Yi Liangchen's grandfather. He was also the current Yi family head. The Yi family and the Long family didn't get along. Meanwhile, the Jiang family was neutral, and the Zhao family had a good relationship with the Yi family. Hence, if the Zhao family was in trouble, the Yi family would naturally step forward, be suppressed. The Yi family head slammed his hand on the giant bell, sending it smashing toward Daoist Heavenly Feather. That will depend on how much skill you have. Daoist Heavenly Feather coldly swung the Northern Source Sword. Boom. The divine items clashed together, unleashing an explosion of divine light. Endless fragments of spastime exploded, and ripples containing enough power to destroy worlds spread in every direction. Cracks in the void spread along with them. As a result, everyone turned pale and fled for their lives. Chapter 2562 The Terrifying High Priest Retreat Long Chen let out a startled cry, bringing everyone back. At this moment, long cracks were appearing in the void, and the earth was collapsing. It was like the entire martial heaven continent was shaking. Those cracks were extremely thin but had a terrifying suction force that caused dirt and stone to fly inside and be devoured. What was on the other side of those cracks was the chaotic flow of space. Once sucked inside, wild spatial blades would crush everything inside to dust. Even a heaven-merging expert would be killed if sucked inside. Hence, they definitely had to distance themselves. This is the power of a supreme divine item? It truly does possess the power to destroy heaven and earth, exclaimed Gu Yang. The divine light drowned out Daoist heavenly feather and the Yi family head, growing stronger and stronger. Two experts standing at the peak of the world were clashing with two divine items that stood at the peak of the world as well. Long Chen face your death. The Zhao family head's voice rang out. At the same time, her manifestation appeared behind her, but it was impossible to see what it was. The world suddenly turned dark, as if the sky was collapsing and pressing down on everyone. Everyone, including Long Chen, coughed up a mouthful of blood. They were shocked to find that they couldn't move. Realm suppression. That old bitch really is shameless cursed Gu Yang. The Zhao family head was ignoring her status and seniority. With the suppression of her realm, they weren't able to fight back. With her being in control of the heavens, every Empyrean was suppressed. This was the most brutal and effective realm suppression. At this moment, the heavenly Tao energy that originally supported them was rebelling, affecting their physical bodies and their flow of spiritual yuan. While the others were incapacitated, a clear sound of a sword coming out of its sheath rang out. After that, a brilliant ray of sword chi illuminated the darkness, ignoring the old woman's realm suppression. The Zhao family head's heart turned cold after she saw this. Yu Zifeng was actually able to resist her realm suppression. Hence, with a cold snort, she clawed his sword chi. Bang! The sword chi exploded, resulting in Yu Zifeng turning pale and coughing up a mouthful of blood. As he collapsed, the immense pressure loosened and Gu Yang grabbed him. After that, Meng Qi immediately pressed a hand against his forehead, sending her spiritual strength into him to help him heal. Yu Zifeng's attack had contained his will inside of it, so the destruction of his sword Qi resulted in a fierce backlash to his soul. Because of this, Meng Qi immediately sealed Yu Zifeng's soul, allowing him to fall unconscious and enter a self-restorative state. In the next instant, the pressure returned. At the same time, the Zhao family head was shocked. Yu Zifeng's sword Qi was able to break her defensive Qi and injure her. Now, there was a long cut in her arm, and blood dripped out. Old bitch. Die. Wild suddenly roared and summoned his golden giant form, smashing her with his door bolt. He was another one who wasn't affected by her realm suppression, startling her. However, being injured by disciples in the Nether Passage realm caused her fury to soar. A withered fist then smashed into Wild's door bolt. As a result, ripples exploded within the old woman's manifestation, and the void behind her cracked. Wild's giant body was forced back, after a dozen steps, with every step causing the ground beneath him to collapse. 
He coughed up a mouthful of blood and shrank back down. World Extermination Flame Lotus. Just as she forced Wild back, Long Chen sent a giant flame lotus smashing toward her. Boom. The flame lotus exploded on contact with her palm, startling her. She had thought that this was Long Chen's strongest attack, but it was easily broken. However, she then realized something was wrong. The flames from the flame lotus transformed into flame dragons that devoured her heavenly Tao energy. Her expression changed. Just now, she had used her full power to block, and it was at this moment that Long Chen's saber fell. Split the heavens eight. This was Long Chen's true attack. In front of an old demon of the Zhao family, there was no way Long Chen would have enough time to summon the Nine Star World Extermination Flame Lotus. Furthermore, Huo Linger had used up a great deal of energy fighting Yi Liangchen. Although it was possible to just barely use the Nine Star World Extermination Flame Lotus, its power would be reduced from its peak. Hence, Long Chen just had Huo Linger imitate the aura of the Nine Star World Extermination Flame Lotus to trick the Zhao family head. How crafty. But you're too immature. The Zhao family head sneered and unleashed a claw at Evil Moon. Long Chen smiled disdainfully. Just as Evil Moon was about to meet her palm, Evil Moon's two dragon marks lit up. Boom. Long Chen was sent flying, but starting from the Zhao family head's middle finger, her hand was cut in two. The cut extended all the way to her elbow. Courting death, the Zhao family head roared furiously. Evil Moon had suddenly unleashed a surprising sharpness that had almost cut off her arm. After that, her figure vanished, and she instantly caught up to Long Chen. A claw reached out for him. A metallic screech then rang out as her claw slammed into a pill furnace. Sparks flew. The demon moon furnace had appeared to take her attack. Long Chen had originally been planning on using Evil Moon to block, but the demon moon furnace had appeared of its own accord, blocking her. With her attack blocked and her head right in front of him, Long Chen instinctively swung his left hand. Pow! A crisp sound rang out as Long Chen slapped her ugly face. The old woman was still immersed in her shock from the demon moon furnace when she was sent flying. Heavens! Countless eyes almost popped out. Long Chen was truly heaven defying. He had slapped Ji Liang Chen, Ji Ong Chen, and now even the Zhao family head. This was definitely a supreme divine ability. These three slaps had all been clear to everyone watching. They appeared easy and natural, flowing like water. There was nothing curious about the slaps, and yet none of the three had been able to dodge. This slap is worthy of being engraved in history. Even if Long Chen dies here, no one in the past has surpassed this slap, and no one in the future will be able to reach that height either, praised someone. A shameless technique with no value like face slapping had actually reached the heights of a divine art in Long Chen's hands. Even a sovereign was unable to do this. You son of a bitch. The Zhao family had let out a hysterical screech. It was like the roar of a beast yet also like the cry of a fiend. Boom. She formed hand seals. And a blood mark appeared on her forehead. Her hands formed a triangle pointed at Long Chen. After that, she raised that triangle to her forehead. In that instant, Long Chen's hair stood on end. Evil Moon shouted, she's exhausting her longevity and life blood essence to unleash a curse. Long Chen suddenly found that he had been locked onto. No matter where he fled, it would be useless. When that attack reached him, he would be cursed. When Long Chen had been cursed by Ji Yui Yan's underworld soul ghost curse, he had personally experienced just how terrifying this kind of technique was. Considering how crazy the Zhao family head was acting, perhaps he would be doomed as soon as he was struck. Just as Long Chen thought that his end was coming, a cold ray of sword chi slashed toward the Zhao family head. The curse that had been about to be unleashed suddenly shattered. The Zhao family head then coughed up a mouthful of blood. Her curse technique interrupted. The Zhao family head was sent flying. At this moment, her body was covered in frost, and one of her arms was gone. Daoist Heavenly Feather had come at this crucial time to save Long Chen. However, in exchange, a giant bell came crashing down from the sky at Long Chen. Be suppressed. Ye family had took advantage of this opening to attack. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors were shocked and infuriated. As Empyreans, they were still affected by this realm suppression and hence unable to move. Wild charged over, but he couldn't reach them in time. 
The sound of a bell rang out. Just as the bell was about to strike Long Chen, a small object smashed into it. The giant bell was actually sent flying by this small object. Everyone was startled. The Yi family head's expression changed. He harshly shouted, Which scoundrel dares to launch sneak attacks without revealing themselves? Another object flew over at the Yi family head. This time, everyone saw it clearly. That's when they saw what it was. Everyone was dumbfounded. It was actually an exquisite jade wine cup. Could it be that what had saved Long Chen and sent the giant bell flying just now was also a wine cup? When the Yi family head saw the wine cup, his expression changed once more. He suddenly thought of something and smashed a fist at the cup. Boom. The cup exploded along with the Yi family head's fist. Blood splattered his body. Everyone was deathly silent. Was there such a terrifying existence on the martial heaven continent other than Daoist heavenly feather? Youngsters shouldn't be so angry and should respect their elders. If it wasn't for some past relationship with your divine family's pill doyen, you would already be dead. You aren't qualified to speak to me. If you have questions, call out your Lord Venerate. An old voice rang through the air. High Priest. Long Chen was startled when he recognized this voice. The High Priest was actually such a terrifying existence? Damn. Why hadn't he told him earlier? Long Chen suddenly eyed the bell. Taking advantage of the Yi family head's shock, he suddenly struck the bell. Today, I'll smash apart your fake divine item. Chapter 2563 Leaving things like this just as everyone was still stunned by the high priest's arrival, a fist smashed into the giant bell. The sound of the bell made everyone jump. They looked over to see Long Chen punch the bell. The bell's divine light was rapidly fading. Long Chen was holding the bronze fragment in his fist. That was a fragment of the real eastern wasteland bell, and it had its own consciousness. It had wanted to come out as soon as the fake bell had appeared, but the primal chaos space had suppressed it. When the high priest appeared and showed his power, Long Chen immediately grew gutsy again. He punched the bell, pressing the fragment against it. In that instant, the fragment unleashed a terrifying suction force, absorbing the energy of the fake bell. This bell was made with the Eastern Wasteland Bell Source Energy, but it lacks the item spirit. Now I can take its source energy. Long Chen was delighted to see this. He then repeatedly punched the bell, holding the bronze fragment where people couldn't see it. The sound of a bell tolling resounded through heaven and earth. Ripples spread in every direction. At this moment, the stars shook, looking like they might explode. All the experts clenched their heads in pain feeling like the world was flipping around them. What is boss doing? Guo Ran clenched his head, feeling like it might explode. But even his own shout was drowned out by the bell, and he couldn't hear himself. Looking at this scene, the Yi family head was startled, so he hastily formed hand seals, trying to pull the bell back. However, he found that the bell was now separated from his soul. A final explosion rang out, followed by a cracking sound. The giant bell suddenly shrank until it was only three meters tall, and there was now a bowl-sized hole at its top. Ah, everyone's jaws dropped, and their eyes almost popped out. Long Chen had smashed a hole into such a terrifying divine item with his fist? They couldn't believe their eyes. Although Daoist Heavenly Feather had said that it was a counterfeit, they had clearly seen its power just now. It was able to match the Northern Source Sword, so that power had terrified all of them. However, this bell was now broken by Long Chen's fist. If Long Chen really had that ability, how could he have been forced to this point? My source energy, you damn bastard. The Yi family had finally pulled back the bell. When he saw the hole and sensed the source chi flowing away, he turned green. He formed hand seals again, and divine light plugged the hole, preventing more source chi from escaping. However, he was unable to stop the leak, no matter how he tried. In just a few breaths of time, all the source chi faded away. This terrifying counterfeit of the eastern wasteland bell turned into a pile of rubbish just like that. Hence, the Yi family had suddenly turned toward Long Chen furiously. His face was twisted like that of a ghoul. What are you looking at me for? For you to replicate the eastern wasteland bell is a blasphemy to the real eastern wasteland bell. I broke it. So what? If you don't like it. Why don't you try attacking me? 
Let's see if the high priest can slap you to death in one blow. Long Chen clasped his hands behind him, looking down arrogantly on the Yi family head. That posture definitely made him look like he needed a spanking. If only he had known before that the high priest was so terrifying. Why would he have to act conservatively? He could have gone all out right from the start. Perhaps he could have even eliminated Jiang Wachen or Yi Liangchen. Long Chen was vexed inside, but he didn't show it. He wanted to show that he was in complete control of everything. He had the support of Daoist Heavenly Feather with her Northern Sore Sword, and there was also the High Priest hiding in the back. With these backings, even the supreme experts of the Divine Families wouldn't dare to act rashly. Suddenly, the Zhao family head saw someone standing in the distance. That person was the white-robed Yun Tian. Yun Tian had been standing in the distance the entire time. He had not participated in the battle, but he was also not standing amongst the neutral faction. He had just been quietly watching the entire time, seemingly pondering something. Many people had failed to sense his existence. Big brother Yun Tian, watch out, shouted Long Chen. The Zhao family had needed to vent her anger somewhere, and unable to touch Long Chen, she had suddenly switched targets. One of her claws reached out for Yun Shian's throat. They were too far for Long Chen to get there in time. More importantly, even if he could, his cultivation base was too low to stop her. Long Chen was infuriated. The divine families were truly shameless, without any of the mannerisms of experts. This old woman was repeatedly attacking her juniors. In the face of this terrifying heaven-merging expert, Yun Tian didn't panic in the slightest. A rune lit up on his forehead, unleashing ripples of light that formed a domain around her. That rune was an immortal character for Sovereign. A Sovereign's aura. That person is. Everyone's hearts pounded wildly. The boundless might of a Sovereign was calm and gentle. It didn't give them a threatening feeling. Instead. It made them feel a profound reverence. Yun Tian calmly slashed his sword. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, the Zhao family head's hands left her body. What including Long Chen? Everyone's jaws dropped. The Zhao family head's hands were covered in scales and were extremely terrifying. But they were still cut off by Yun Tian. That swing of his sword had appeared simple. It was like he was chopping a radish. But rather than a radish. He had cut off the hands of a terrifying heaven-merging expert. Yun Tian casually swung his sword again, slashing her neck. However, she had rapidly retreated, causing his sword to only slice across her neck but not cut her head off. Blood splashed, but the cut was not to the bone. She rapidly retreated out of his domain. Once she was out, the sovereign character faded away along with the sovereign might. What was that? Everyone felt like they were dreaming. This world had gone crazy. They were seeing things that repeatedly toppled their understanding of the world. Long Chen had broken a terrifying divine item with his fist. This mysterious white-robed man had cut off the arms of a heaven-merging expert, almost cutting off her head. Everyone felt like their head was too slow to function. Why don't we leave today's matter as is? Just at this moment, a powerful voice resounded from a distance. There was only the sound but no one revealed themselves. The voice was extremely old but possessed unquestionable dignity. Even the laws of heaven and earth quivered in its presence. Since the Lord Venerate is giving us face, how could I take advantage? This is just a misunderstanding anyway. It would be best if things ended here. The high priest's voice also rang out. After just speaking once, both voices faded away. The Yi family had then clenched his teeth. With one last snort, his figure vanished. The Zhao family head's face was twisted in fury. It looked exceptionally frightening like this. Almost like a demon. Although her arms had grown back out and the wound on her neck was healed. She was still covered in blood as a record of her disgrace. Jarishan had died. And she had failed to avenge him. She had tried to kill Yun Tian. Only to almost be killed by him. This was the greatest humiliation in the Zhao family's history. Just wait. I'll make you regret being born in this world. Cursed the Zhao family head before also leaving. Long Chen. Once I activate my spirit bone. I'll take your head. Said Jiang Wachen before stepping into his war chariot with Feng Fei and leaving. Long Chen. Count yourself lucky this time. No one can live off luck for a lifetime. Next time. 
You will definitely die to my sword. Yi Liangchen also said some parting words. He was extremely irritated at having his manifestation interrupted and not being able to show his full power. Today, the Martial Heaven Alliance had people to support it, and even the Lord Venerate had given his orders. Today's matter ended here, so Yi Liangchen could only leave. Long Aotian eyed Long Chen. He wanted to say something, but after thinking about it, he decided to leave without saying it. The Divine Family's people all left. The Pill Fairy brought Pill Valley's people away, and Di Long brought the Ancient Family Alliance's people with him. As for the corrupt path, Yi Ming never revealed himself again. The few remaining disciples of the corrupt path were brought away by Zi Wentian. Looking at this, Long Chen glanced at the old man questioningly. Could they not eliminate the corrupt path and the sea demon race right here? However, the old man silently shook his head. Although Long Chen didn't know why, he accepted it. The neutral faction's experts came forward to congratulate Long Chen, but he ignored them. Instead, he went to greet the elders of the Nangong family, Bidang family, and Mo family. Long Chen was filled with disdain for the neutral experts. Even now, they were still remaining neutral. Did they think just watching the entire time would make them safe? When the storm came, no one could just stand to the side. The Battle of the Dark Era was imminent. Even now, they were unable to think of the Martial Heaven Continent and were only thinking about themselves. Such people were the most contemptuous. After some brief exchanges, Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu said goodbye to Long Chen, bringing their disciples away. Long Chen, let me introduce you. This is the music master of the elusive music Immortal Palace, our leader. Even the palace masters are her apprentices. At this moment, Zi Yan brought the elusive music Immortal Palace's disciples over, and she held the hand of a middle-aged woman. This middle-aged woman looked gentle and refined, giving off an air of nobility. It was like she was a kind elder. Junior Long Chen greets Senior Long Chen bowed, as expected of an unrivaled hero. Zi Yan has not misjudged you. The old woman smiled at Long Chen. The other female disciples of the elusive music Immortal Palace giggled behind her, causing Zi Yan to blush. She had not thought that the music master would speak so directly. Music master, why did you not take action just now? Have you forgotten the status of the elusive music Immortal Palace? Just at this moment. An icy voice rang out that made everyone shiver. Chapter 2564 The Martial Heaven Continent's Reserve's Daoist Heavenly Feather came over, but she was still frighteningly icy, completely different from her normal refined and gentle self. The ice chi swirling around her had dissipated, and she had returned the Northern Source Sword to Yi's Hikyu. But even after exiting her combat state, her aura still pushed others away. Everyone opened a path for her as she walked over, not daring to get close. Being too close caused their souls to shiver in pain. Daoist heavenly feathers questioning caused people's hearts to shake. They looked at the music master. The music master bowed slightly to Daoist heavenly feather. Senior, please calm yourself. The elusive music immortal palace has naturally not forgotten our mission. Junior wanted to join in at the end, but the high priest was even faster. I'm ashamed, since the music master was acting deferential to Daoist Heavenly Feather, the others from the elusive music Immortal Palace were a bit displeased. Daoist Heavenly Feather's questioning felt very rude and had the tone of interrogation. It was almost tyrannical. After that, Daoist Heavenly Feather stared at the music master for a long time before spitting out. Do your best. The music master smiled and nodded. Many thanks for your reminder, senior. Junior will remember it. Daoist Heavenly Feather nodded, turned, and took a single step, vanishing from sight. Apologies. The palace master has used her source G, causing her to become unreasonable. I hope that the music master will not take this to heart. A middle-aged woman of the Divine Ice Palace walked over and bowed to the music master. This was a grand elder of the Divine Ice Palace, and she was the one who normally handled things there. Everyone with status on the Martial Heaven Continent recognized her. Of course, everyone knows Senior Heavenly Feather's character. She is a respected senior. For her to educate this junior with a few words is only natural. Furthermore, she is correct. As a protector of the Martial Heaven Continent, 
we naturally must protect the continent's safety. Long Chen and the others are the hope for the continent's future, so we must protect them. The elusive music Immortal Palace will always be the Martial Heaven Continent's sturdiest shield, said the music master amicably. It seemed that she wasn't afraid at all. The Grand Elder nodded. After saying a few more courteous words, she turned to Yi's Hikyu. The Palace Master has used her source energy. You should avoid coming back for now, or it might cause some undue anger. Everyone was startled. It seemed that Daoist Heavenly Feather should not be disturbed after entering her combat state. Long Chen had originally been thinking of going to the Divine Ice Palace with Yi's Hikyu to pay his respects, but now it seemed that it would have to be set aside. Long Chen, you are the pillar of the Martial Heaven Continent, so you carry a heavy burden. Properly cultivate. When the Great Tribulation descends, everything will be up to you youngsters. We old fellows can only buy you some time. The countless lives on the Martial Heaven Continent are in the hands of your generation. Do not be reckless, said the Music Master solemnly. Long Chen looked at the Music Master's eyes and patted his chest. Senior, don't worry. I will do my absolute best. However, I do not dare to go so far as to promise I will protect all lives in this world. Even for us, if we want to live, we must go all out. The music master nodded and then left with her people. Zi Yan also followed, but then she turned back to wave at Long Chen with a blushing smile. All the elusive music Immortal Palace's people had left. However, most people still felt profoundly shaken. Only today did they learn that the elusive music Immortal Palace and the Divine Ice Palace were so terrifying. Based on Daoist Heavenly Feather's words, it seemed that the elusive music Immortal Palace's music master also possessed the ability to block one of the Divine Family's terrifying heaven merging experts. I never thought that the Martial Heaven Continent had such powerful reserves, said Gu Yang. Under the pressure of the Divine Families, the Divine Ice Palace, the elusive music Immortal Palace, and the Wine God Palace had revealed their power. The High Priest in particular had also spoken to the Divine Family's Lord Venerate and ended matters today. Long Chen had killed Jarishan and fought against three sovereign sprouts. Everyone had personally witnessed his power. Therefore, it gave immense confidence to the Martial Heaven Alliance's side. Currently, the junior generation experts of the Martial Heaven continent were growing stronger and stronger. They even had a leader like Long Chen capable of matching Sovereign Sprouts. Moreover, behind him was the support of the Divine Ice Palace, the Wine God Palace, and the elusive music Immortal Palace. The Martial Heaven Continent was now unprecedentedly powerful. How regretful. If I knew we had such powerful support, I would have gone to kill some of those Sovereign Sprouts' personal warriors. Just looking at their arrogant appearances was annoying. We could have had a proper battle of generals against generals. Soldiers against soldiers. Guo Ran slapped his leg regretfully. It was best that you didn't. Some trump cards should be kept in reserve, said Gu Yang. He was a bit more conservative than Guo Ran. The Dragonblood Legion's new armor had raised their power, and he didn't want to expose this trump card for nothing. If it was just fighting for prestige, that was meaningless. That's right. It would be best if we didn't reveal all our power. Next time we can catch them off guard, said Li Qi. Although the divine families had retreated this time, it didn't mean that things were over. Ignoring the others, the Dragonblood Legion had definitely laid down an unending enmity with the Zhao family. It was unknown when they would fight again, so leaving some trump cards in their hands could save their lives. Just as everyone was talking, Long Chen suddenly noticed that Yun Tian had left at some point. Brother Long, Brother Yun Tian wanted me to pass on some words to you. He said that he has something very important to do. So he didn't say goodbye. Hu Feng walked over. He left again. Mo Nian and the others shook their heads. Yun Tian had been mysterious from start to finish. Last time, he had also suddenly vanished in the Starfield Divine World. Is he not afraid of the Divine Family sending experts to kill him? Wondered one person worriedly. The family head of the Zhao family in particular had been extremely resentful when leaving. It was unknown what she would do in retaliation. He is protected by a sovereign mark. If someone tries to kill him, it will trigger its protection. It seems that within the domain of the sovereign mark, 
everyone's realms will be suppressed to the same as his. That Zhao family head would have died if she hadn't retreated fast enough, said an elder. Yes, that Mark should be the legendary sovereign's protection someone else nodded in agreement. Although sovereigns were unfathomable, there were many legends about them passed down from generation to generation. No one knew Yun Shian's true status, but that noble aura and refined grace of his was identical to the legendary sovereigns. Everyone was sure that he was definitely a sovereign sprout. However, while they all recognized him as a sovereign sprout, that did not mean that they thought he was a sovereign's son. The legends also said that the sovereigns didn't have any descendants. Anyone who could receive a sovereign's inheritance could be considered a sovereign sprout. Only now did Long Chen understand why the Zhao family head had been unable to receive a single blow from Yan Tian. So her realm had been suppressed to the Nether Passage realm, resulting in her almost dying. That sovereign mark is amazing. Doesn't that mean he can dominate the divine family's Mo Nian's eyes lit up? To suppress heaven merging experts to the Nether Passage realm was definitely badass. The martial heaven continent sovereign seals must be triggered by someone else to activate. Yun Shian's sovereign mark should be the same, said Ku Jinying. Fine, that really is a pity, sighed Mo Nian. Alliance head, old man, sorry to make you worry. Long Chen hastily went to greet Ku Jinying and the old man. They were his seniors who always viewed him as family. The old man patted Long Chen's shoulder and laughed. Good job, this is what a man is. This time was truly satisfying Ku Jinying also reached out to straighten Long Chen's collar. Long Chen was emotionally moved, but just at that moment, a sharp pain came from his ear. Ku Jinying's warmth vanished, and she gnashed her teeth. You little brat, when are you going to let people stop worrying about you? Do you know you almost scared me to death just now? Why would you be worried? Those fellows were unable to do anything to me, even if I couldn't beat them. I could run. Long Chen grimaced painfully. In truth, Ku Jinying was unable to harm him. After reaching the 12th heaven stage, his physical body was so powerful that unless Ku Jinying activated her own manifestation, she would only be able to tickle him. However, to avoid embarrassing her, he acted like he was in pain. It went without saying that Long Chen's acting skills were top notch. I'm not even talking about them. Did I not tell you not to randomly guess things about the next realm? Did my words go in through one ear and out the other? You're already grown up. You can't act so recklessly. Ku Jinying poked Long Chen's forehead. Just now, the heavenly punishment had been the most frightening thing. In every generation, the first one to expose the name of the heaven merging realm would be treated as someone exposing the secrets of the heavens, and they would be wiped out by the heavenly deos. Those people were given the title of guides, and all of them died with no exception. Cough. You should give the child some face in front of so many people, advised the old man. What face? Did you warn him? Hm raged Ku Jinying. Ah, maybe possibly perhaps. I should have. The old man scratched his head. No, he definitely didn't. I never heard him say anything about it, said Bao Buping immediately. The old man raged. Are you looking for a beating? You actually forgot about such an important matter. I just wait. I'll give you some face in front of everyone. Ku Jinying turned green with rage. Not only had the old man forgotten to tell Long Chen about this, but he hadn't even mentioned anything to the disciples of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect either. We're family. Let's return to the headquarters before discussing things further. Li Xiangxuan came forward to mediate things. Only then did Ku Jinying release Long Chen, but she still had a vicious glare when looking at the old man. After that, they returned to the headquarters of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Chapter 2565 Will We Die? This time, I've profited immensely. Long Chen was in a private room, looking at the bronze fragment. It was shining brightly with divine light. Long Chen had made an excuse that he needed to recover from his wounds but in reality he had come to look at this treasure. Using the fragment of the Eastern Wasteland Bell, Long Chen had broken the counterfeit. When it broke, the sealed source chi inside of it flowed out and was absorbed by the fragment. The suction of the fragment was why the Yi family head had been unable to stop the leak no matter what he tried. The source chi originally belonged to the Eastern Wasteland Bell, 
so the fragment suction was returning the source chi to its home. There was now a new complete rune on the fragment, and it seemed to contain the flow of time within it. It was as if all changes of all living things could be seen within it. It possessed terrifying power. Long Chen made a light swing with the fragment, and thin cracks appeared within the void. This fragment's power was now astonishing. It's too bad that it's just a fragment. It can't acknowledge you as master, said Evil Moon. It's fine. I feel like I'll run into the Eastern Wasteland Bell sooner or later. I can return the fragment then. He, even if I don't know how to use it, I can use it as a concealed weapon. Perhaps I can break other divine items with it. Furthermore, even if it doesn't have any uses, just the expression of the Yi family head when I broke his fake was delightful, snickered Long Chen. You still feel like laughing? I am actually worrying about you, said Evil Moon. Worrying? About what you forcibly changed such a terrifying cultivation technique, and you'll need to create your own cultivation path now. Do you realize just how difficult creating a cultivation technique is? A technique like the nine-star hegemon body art would only come to be after going through thousands of revisions and countless tests, and you have deviated from its path. Do you still feel like you can cultivate it to its end? Let's take your world extermination flame lotus as an example. Do you feel like you can condense it with a deviated path? Even if you could, it would require being different from the very start, not starting with the same foundation and then suddenly changing halfway. That's even more difficult than creating it from scratch. Right now, you should be pondering about how you can return to the correct path while you still haven't deviated too far. Perhaps there's still time, said Evil Moon. Evil Moon might have an even greater grasp of just how terrifying the nine-star hegemon body art was compared to Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen laughing like this, it couldn't bear to keep watching. I'll create my own path. Who can say whether it's a blessing or disaster? I rather like the feeling of leaving everything up to myself. My fate is in my own hands now, said Long Chen. For some reason, the suffocating feeling in Long Chen's heart had been lifted after he had deviated from the nine-star hegemon body art's normal path. It was like he had been sitting in someone else's chariot before and forced to go wherever the chariot had been carrying him. Now, he was the one pulling the chariot. Although the path ahead was covered in mist, it was also full of hope. Long Chen liked this feeling of opportunity being found within danger. He liked having his fate in his own hands. In one of his dreams, he had seen an expert summon the nine-star battle armor. That person had had a divine ring with nine stars within it, and it wasn't that different from the six-star battle armor. Theoretically, the seventh and eighth stars should be the same just like that. He could continue according to that pattern when he condensed more stars. Hence, he didn't feel that much pressure. Due to gradually becoming accustomed to the power of the six-star battle armor, he was even able to fight so long against Jiang Wachen. Although his body had been constantly damaged from the heavy strain, the constant flow of life energy from the heavenly Killin Demon Trees meant that he could easily exhaust his opponent. The heavenly Killin Demon Trees were an ocean of life energy. He had used up less than a hundredth of their life energy for his last battle. Furthermore, after reaching this level of maturity, the heavenly Killin Demon Trees came to possess their own self-restorative properties. This little bit of exhaustion would be recovered in a few days. Therefore, even if he had to face all four Sovereign Sprouts again, he was full of confidence. He had originally been prepared to fight all four of them at once and use a method of exchanging wounds for wounds, depending on the heavenly Killin Demon Trees to outlast them. When it came to recovery ability, he believed that no one could match him. However, he hadn't expected things to develop as they had. So, it turned out the Martial Heaven Continent possessed such powerful reserves. The High Priest, Daoist Heavenly Feather, and the Music Master had all hidden themselves deeply. Long Chen continued examining the bronze fragment for a while. After confirming that he really couldn't control it, he finally put it away again. After that, he gathered the Dragonblood Legion. Boss. Are you going to let us to slaughter the divine families? asked Guo Ran excitedly. Are you annoyed that you didn't get to show off at all this time? Long Chen was speechless. When did this little fellow become so warlike? Boss, you misunderstood me. 
I feel like we have to show off a bit of power in order to match your grandeur, flattered Guo Ran. Is that not just wanting to show off? Long Chen flapped his hand at Guo Ran. You'll have plenty of chances to show off in the future. The main thing is to have the power to do so. You said in the Starfield Divine World that the new armor is so powerful that our brothers are unable to fully unleash their power. Correct yes. The new armor was created with the full effort of myself, Xia Chen, and Jarishan. We exhausted all our wits and power to create it. Who would have thought that one of us would already be sacrificed after such great service? Even now, I can't believe it. We should have a moment of silence for his sacrifice, said Guo Ran. He really did lower his head thoughtfully. Long Chen had an urge to slap him. Are you unhappy that I killed him? Boss, you really shouldn't have killed him. He was my treasure cornucopia. I wasn't done using him. Guo Ran looked like he was about to cry. It seemed like he really had fallen in love with Jarishan. Ever since obtaining Jarishan, Guo Ran had been thinking about how to use him in the future. Hence, when Long Chen had crushed him in his anger, Guo Ran had felt immense grief. To use his words, Jarishan was his. Seeing Guo Ran's mournful expression, everyone laughed, but they also felt that his death was a pity. He was an inexhaustible mountain of immortal metal, so it was especially painful for Guo Ran to lose him. However, because it was Long Chen who had killed him, Guo Ran couldn't say anything. He could only use this method to express his resentment at Long Chen's barbaric methods. Even if that old bitch didn't force me to, I would still have to kill Jarishan. You couldn't use him any longer, said Long Chen. Why is that? Guo Ran, Xia Chen, there is a faint mark on your foreheads now. Have you not sensed it? Said Long Chen. Everyone was startled and looked toward Xia Chen and Guo Ran. After a close examination, they truly did notice a vague black mark. It looked to be dust but was growing within their flesh. It was very faint almost imperceptible. What is this? Guo Ran jumped. He then wiped his forehead hard. As he rubbed, faint patterns appeared on his skin, looking like roots. They quickly faded. Xia Chen did the same, and both of them were shocked, not knowing what was going on, but it definitely wasn't something good. Jarishan possessed a terrifying ability that could destroy the entire world. If he did absorb the entire world's immortal metal, it would cause the collapse of the world. Every world has its own laws, and it will not permit existences that can threaten it. That's why Jarishan did not dare to absorb so much immortal metal that it would damage the world's foundation. Otherwise, he would be cursed by the world. Jarishan had constantly wandered through many worlds, absorbing a bit of immortal metal from every world to avoid such a curse. Did you not find it curious? If Jarishan possessed such a terrifying ability... Why did he not absorb an infinite amount of immortal metal? Said Long Chen. Everyone came to a sudden realization. That was true. If Jarishan recklessly absorbed all the immortal metal from multiple worlds, no one could stop him. That fellow was quite sinister. Because he was the one forced to absorb the immortal metal, 99% of the curse was absorbed by the two of you. Fortunately, since you were doing this to help the Dragonblood Legion create new equipment, the curse was split amongst the entire Dragonblood Legion. If it wasn't for the fact that so many people were sharing the curse at once, the two of you would have long since died, said Long Chen. Boss, why didn't you tell us sooner? exclaimed Guo Ran. This was told to me by Ling Shi. Because the Starfield Divine World is a masterless and fractured world, the will of the world has weakened to the point that the curse is not very powerful, with it being shared by so many people. It's not dangerous, but now that we're back on the Martial Heaven continent, the laws of the world would not permit Jarishan to recklessly absorb its immortal metal. So Jarishan has already lost his use. To eliminate him in front of the divine families is the best choice. It's satisfying, relieves anger, and can even be called perfect. He, laughed Long Chen. Boss, but what about our curse? Will we die? Asked Guo Ran fearfully. He didn't know if it was just in his mind or not, but he felt like his head was swelling, and he was feeling cold. Long Chen was silent for a moment. He finally sighed. Yes. Chapter 2566 10,000 Dragon Essence Blood Tempering What Guo Ran's soul almost flew out of his body. Boss, are you trying to scare me? Long Chen apologetically said. 
I'm not trying to trick you. The countdown to the end of your life starts now. No way. Boss, you definitely have a way to save me. Guo Ran almost wept. Fool. As soon as a person is born, the countdown to the end of their life starts. Snorted Tang Wan Er disdainfully. Boss, are you just messing with me? Asked Guo Ran. Why would I do that? Right now, everyone else is fine. But you and Xia Chen have weak constitutions that can't stop the curse from spreading. In under two years, both of you will be dead, said Long Chen. As for everyone else, their constitutions are stronger, and they can last longer. Because we were born on the Martial Heaven continent, the curse of the Starfield Divine World will slowly be ground down by the will of the Martial Heaven continent. It will slowly weaken over time. Only you two will be unable to endure. I won't waste any more words. I have a way to save your lives. But whether or not you survive will be up to yourselves. Long Chen opened a door, revealing a pool filled with blood. The scent of blood poured over them along with a berserk will. All their souls shook. The roar of dragons rang out in their minds. This terrifying dragon might made them shiver. This is, Long Chen explained. This is the dragon blood within the 10,000 dragon nest's blood pool. Those who were allowed to contribute to this blood pool were all dragons who had reached the 13th rank, and only those with the purest bloodlines at that. They were elites amongst elites in the dragon race. After so many years, it's unknown how many dragons have contributed to this essence blood. As for what I obtained, it is the final part of the essence blood, the quintessence. Considering that you cultivate the dragon blood body tempering art, you are extremely sensitive to the pressure of this dragon blood. If you want to erase the curse in your bodies, you will have to let the dragon blood reforge your bodies. This second tempering will strengthen your bodies and allow you to gain a trace of the dragon king's might. That curse will be wiped out that way. Long Chen had originally been planning on having the dragon blood warriors undergo this tempering in the Starfield Divine World. But Ling Shi had told him that it would be better to wait until they returned to the Martial Heaven continent. Then they might be able to gain the blessing of the dragon race's ancestral spirits, allowing the tempering to have a greater effect. 10,000 Dragon Blood, Dragon King's Might, Gu Yang and the others involuntarily gulped, having not expected Long Chen to possess such a terrifying treasure. This was precisely what they needed. If they merged with this essence blood, their bodies would be strengthened once more. It could even strengthen their dragon blood manifestations. That power was unimaginable. They felt a mix of surprise and joy. Hence, they had an urge to jump inside right now. However, let me just say this first. This blood contains the will of the dragons. Because we belong to the human race, there will be a powerful rejection. You all know the rule of the dragon race. Only by obtaining their approval can you absorb their essence blood. I'm not worried about your wills. But Xia Chen and Guo Ran, the two of you have to mentally prepare yourselves, said Long Chen. The two of their expressions changed. They had a bad premonition. As expected, Long Chen's following words made their hearts sink. Since the two of you have spent a long time using Jarishan to excavate immortal ores, the curse is strongest in you. To erase it will be a long painful process. During this tempering, if your will slackens, you might die. No one can save you then. It can't be that serious, right? Guo Ran gulped. Perhaps it's even more serious than you believe. The dragon might contains its own sacred aura, which is the bane of the curse. You'll need to stay inside the dragon pool for at least seven days and seven nights. Moreover, to avoid impacting the others, I've set up two special tempering pools for you too. There's an hourglass inside there for you to keep watch. Long Chen patted them on the shoulders. Brothers, you have to survive. All your other brothers depend on you. He then turned to Gu Yang and the others. You guys can enter the blood pool now. Gu Yang and the others had long since grown impatient. Gu Yang charged in. But as soon as he did, he shouted and flew out. When he flew out, everyone saw that he was red, like a roasted toad. Countless bubbles had appeared under his skin. Everyone was horrified. Considering how powerful Gu Yang was, even if he was tossed into lava, it would be like a hot bath. But this blood pool immediately caused such a reaction. All his defenses were useless in the face of this blood pool. Don't worry, the reason there's such a reaction was due to the rejection of the blood pool. 
The dragon blood that you previously obtained was too low grade and not pure enough. The blood pool's essence blood contains only the highest of grades, resulting in a greater rejection. Hence, the first thing you'll need to do is endure the trial of the dragon blood. That includes the pressure of the dragon might and the tearing of the physical body, but your lives won't be in danger. So as long as you persevere and don't offend the dragon will, you will be fine. Only real experts can obtain their approval. If you feel the slightest cowardice, don't even think of using the dragon blood to temper your bodies, warned Long Chen. Gu Yang immediately jumped back into the blood pool upon hearing this. His teeth clattered as he immersed himself in the pool. That appearance was horrifying. He seemed to be in immense pain. However, after a few breaths, Gu Yang's expression relaxed. He lay inside the blood pool, as if he was sleeping. He has received the approval of the dragon will. Long Chen nodded. Gu Yang's will was truly powerful. Seeing that Gu Yang had succeeded so quickly, everyone else was reinvigorated. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan also walked over. However, just as they were on the edge, a scream ripped through the air. Gu Yang's eyes suddenly popped open, and the veins on his forehead almost exploded. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan were so startled that they almost fell in. Don't make a fuss. He has passed the trial of the dragon might. So now is the tempering of his physical body. The dragon blood in his body is being expelled in the most barbaric way. Yes, it will be a bit painful, said Long Chen calmly. A bit painful? Everyone stared at Gu Yang screaming. Was this really just a little bit? Li Qi and Song Mingyuan exchanged a glance. Clenching their teeth, they jumped in. The two of them were captains of the dragon blood legion, and everyone was watching. They couldn't turn into cowards. A muffled groan came from both of them as they bitterly endured. Let's go. Blessings and disasters are shared between brothers. Other dragon blood warriors also jumped in. They couldn't keep waiting because they felt like they wouldn't have the courage to jump in if they didn't go now. As a result, screams rang out through the air. The blood pool seemed to be a hell for them. Meng Chi and the others felt a chill and couldn't bear to watch. The first to enter, Gu Yang, was now stripped of his skin revealing his bloody flesh. Let's go to the blood pools I prepared for you too, said Long Chen to Xia Chen and Guo Ran. Xia Chen was pale but forced himself to walk. Guo Ran was being dragged by Xia Chen, and he was weeping. Brother, I can't feel my legs. They have their own thoughts, and they don't want to go. Brother, don't pull. My legs feel weak too, said Xia Chen. This really was frightening. As a formation cultivator, his physical body was weak. Perhaps he would be even inferior to Guo Ran upon entering the blood pool. After all, Guo Ran was half a fighter. We've arrived. Long Chen pointed at the rooms in front of him. This room is connected to the other room. So the two of you can hear each other's voices. I don't want the two of you to go so crazy that you injure each other. So I separated you physically. But this way you can encourage each other. Guo Ran, my good brother. You must endure. When the curse is erased, you have to lead the dragon blood legion against the divine families. Promise me that you'll live. Guo Ran. Boss. I. Before he finished speaking, Long Chen tossed him into the blood pool. His screams instantly started. Long Chen then shut the door. They could hear Guo Ran's screams from the other side. Right now, Meng Chi and the others felt some pity for him. Guo Ran was most afraid of pain. Boss. I can enter myself. On the other hand, Xia Chen rather manfully walked in by himself. When Xia Chen jumped in, he grew dumbfounded. Although there was some sizzling pain, it wasn't so exaggerated. Boss, Meng Chi suddenly covered her mouth and laughed. You really are evil. You tricked everyone. Tricked everyone. Tang Wan'er and the others stared at her in disbelief. If the sacred aura of dragon might was the bane of curses, Long Chen wouldn't have suffered so badly to Ji Yui Yan's curse, forcing him to go all the way to Pill Valley to get the second volume of the Nirvana scripture, said Meng Chi. Everyone came to a sudden comprehension. After that, Long Chen laughed. How else could I trick Guo Ran into toughening up? Xia Chen's jaw dropped, and he stared at Long Chen in disbelief. They had all been fooled? Long Chen said. Your pool has been modified with some special medicinal ingredients, or you really would die. You just need to soak in it and get used to the dragon might. Otherwise, 
when the dragon blood legion goes all out, their dragon might will harm you. You also have another mission. What mission? Long Chen pointed to the wall and chuckled. It's to act like you're in a similar pain to encourage Guo Ran to continue. Do you understand? The seven days is nonsense. He only needs to endure three days, and his combat power will advance a startling amount. That amount will then be multiplied by his armor. How strong he can grow is up to you. Guo Ran was currently struggling for his life inside the blood pool. Never in his dreams would he imagine that he had been schemed against by his most respected boss. Chapter 2567 The Allure of the Ninth Form of Split the Heavens Beauties I've prepared a room for you as well. I've already adjusted the dragon blood to your bodies. I guarantee that you will be very comfortable once you enter. Long Chen opened another door with a dragon pool on the other side. Why aren't you leaving? Are you thinking of bathing with us? Asked Lu Ruian lightly. Of course. What's wrong with that? Long Chen acted surprised. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and the others blushed. On the other hand, Little Cloud excitedly clapped her hands and began to take off her clothes, only to be stopped by Tang Wanur. If you're not afraid of me killing you, you can come and try it, said Lu Ruian. She actually began to take off her clothes. HMPH, don't try to scare me. You aren't even. Damn. Long Chen was originally going to say that Lu Ruian wasn't even human and was just a wood elemental life form. But as her clothes slid off, he saw the jade skin of her back. Even from the side, he could see some vague surging mountains. All right, you have gods. Long Chen took a deep breath and walked away. He heard Lu Ruian's pleased laughter behind him, with Meng Chi and the others' laughter coming afterward. It seemed that only Lu Ruian could scare away Long Chen. Long Chen cursed. Just what was going on with Lu Ruian? Wasn't she a willow tree? How was her flesh so real? He had previously never viewed her as a real woman, but when her clothes slid off her shoulder, he couldn't help being affected. Long Chen shook his head. How could a tree move him? He had to have some principles. He had an urge to slap himself to wake himself up. Expelling those thoughts, he focused on what was important. The curse on Xia Chen and Guo Ran was real, but it was nowhere near as serious as he had made it out to be. Now that they were back on the Martial Heaven continent, the curse would be easily erased over time. He had just been scaring Guo Ran and trying to draw out his potential. In truth, it could be said that Guo Ran was the one with the greatest potential in the Dragonblood Legion. That potential was the result of slacking so much that he had plenty of potential to be excavated. That was why Long Chen wasn't going to let him slack off again. With Xia Chen to accompany him, Long Chen felt like Guo Ran would persevere. After arranging the blood pools for everyone, Long Chen came to Ku Jin Ying's residence. When he walked into the yard, he saw the old man pruning. He, old man, you're in the mood for gardening so early in the morning, asked Long Chen. The old man was quite interesting. He was capable of using his blade to unleash his temper but he also could use a blade to do such refined work. As expected, the alliance head was amazing. Seemingly surprised by Long Chen's arrival, the old man quickly put away the pruner he was using to clean up a sapling. But it was too late. Intentionally acting calm, he said. What do you know? Cultivating trees is like cultivating the heart. Sometimes stillness is also a kind of Tao. Behind stillness is calm. Behind calm is quiet. Behind quiet is peace. Behind peace is comprehension. I don't know about stillness or calm, but I do know that you just clipped a 300-year-old heavenly violet star accidentally. He, such a precious flower was destroyed by you. The old man looked and realized that just now, while pruning a sapling, he had somehow cut off half of a flower, making it look very ugly. The old man was enraged. This wasn't something he was used to. But Ku Jin Ying had forced him to do it in order to temper his self-discipline. As a result, not only was he seen by Long Chen, but he had embarrassed himself in front of Long Chen as well. Here, the old man pressed the pruner into Long Chen's hand. Long Chen was confused for a moment but then raged. Old man, after living for so many years, you didn't develop any integrity. Do you seriously want me to bear the responsibility for your mistake? Long Chen couldn't believe his eyes. When did the old man become so shameless? He hadn't been like this before. 
the ninth form of split the heavens. The old man clasped his hands behind him, putting on a solemn expression. Hearing that, Long Chen's anger vanished. He put on a fawning expression and then stepped forward, taking over the work of pruning the tree. He, senior really is the senior. This junior will follow your example. My skill in gardening is too low, causing me to accidentally clip the flower. It seems that I'll need to learn more from you in the future. I hope to gain some more pointers from you, you pair of shameless scoundrels. Stop it. Hu Jin Ying's roar came from inside the house. Since Long Chen was sucking up and the old man had a pleased expression, Long Chen hadn't been paying attention to his hands, resulting in this three-foot-tall sapling being reduced to a bare trunk. After that, a torrent of curses fell upon the two of them. The old man and Long Chen exchanged glares but didn't say anything. After an hour, the torrent finally passed. Old man, are you really going to teach me the ninth form of split the heavens? Demanded Long Chen in front of Hu Jin Ying. Don't be a fool. The ninth form of split the heavens cannot be randomly taught. Said Hu Jin Ying before the old man could even say anything. Why not? Am I not strong enough? Asked Long Chen. He had asked the old man many times but had always been refused. Now, it seemed that the old man was finally ready to teach him. But Hu Jin Ying didn't agree. The ninth form of split the heavens is the pinnacle. Its power is not something that you can imagine. Once used, a person will enter a wild battle state and go crazy. In that state, you won't be able to control yourself. You will very likely destroy yourself with your own power, said Hu Jin Ying. I feel like I can control my temper, said Long Chen. Hu Jin Ying cursed. What control? You were so reckless that you crushed a sovereign sprout in front of the divine families. Is that something done by someone with control over their temper? You can't even remain cool-headed normally. In the state of the ninth form, you won't even be able to differentiate between friend and foe. But the old man, Long Chen was unconvinced. He had previously seen the old man almost use the ninth form of split the heavens. It was nowhere as grave as Hu Jin Ying described it. That is because he would exhaust all his energy using it at once. Either he kills his opponent or he dies. So he won't have the power for a second attack. Furthermore, even if he does slay his enemy, his own chances of surviving after using it are less than 30%. That's why he doesn't have to consider what happens next, said Hu Jin Ying. I feel like I can first teach him the heaven's wrath to see if he can control it. If he can, then I'll transmit the ninth form, said the old man. Hu Jin Ying was silent for a moment before sighing. It's still very dangerous. This little fellow's temper is something you're well aware of. But if you're so set, I'll respect your opinion. He, many thanks. Alliance head, I won't disappoint you, said Long Chen immediately, not letting her change her mind. Long Chen had long since wanted to learn the ninth form of split the heavens. But since the old man refused to teach him, he couldn't do anything. Now that the old man was finally willing to transmit this peerless technique to him, he was incredibly excited. Three days from now, come with me to the heaven splitting battle sec then we'll see, said the old man. Why not start right now? Asked Long Chen impatiently. You just experienced a large battle, so your spiritual fluctuations have yet to calm down. In this state, activating the heaven's wrath is too dangerous the old man shook his head. Fine. Although Long Chen was anxious to learn it, it seemed that he would have to wait. The old man patted his shoulder. Even at such an age, you can't calm down a bit? You aren't able to wait even three days. Are you the one who should be saying these words? Long Chen curled his lips. The old man was far older, but he had the same temper. Do you want to learn the ninth form of split the heavens or not? Raged the old man. Long Chen just looked at him and didn't reply. Hu Jin Ying was between laughter and tears, and she pinched the old man. Long Chen was not wrong at all. For the old man to try to teach others to control their temper was something no one would accept. Hu Jin Ying said, Long Chen, I'm going to bring up a certain matter. Don't get angry. Long Chen smiled. What is there to get angry about? You wish to draw in those neutral and traitor powers. Although Long Chen had been in seclusion, the new wind that had blown across the Martial Heaven Alliance had not escaped him. He had killed Dong Fang Yu Yang and Jarishan, 
as well as fighting against three of the divine family sovereign sprouts at once. He had even exchanged blows with the family head of the divine families. This was something that affected the entire continent. Because of it, the neutral powers and powers that had left the Martial Heaven Alliance due to the influence of Pill Valley were now being drawn back in. There was now the High Priest, Daoist Heavenly Feather, and the Music Master supporting the Martial Heaven Alliance. Only now did the public learn that the Martial Heaven Alliance was not as weak as they had thought. Even the Lord Venerate of the Divine Families had conceded. With the support of three large forces, the Martial Heaven Alliance was now clearly the main pillar of the continent. Perhaps even the previous pressure on the Alliance had just been an act or maybe a trial. After realizing these things, those neutral powers and those that had left the Martial Heaven Alliance expressed that they were willing to join. When those powers had tried to join the Martial Heaven Alliance before, Long Chen had simply told them to scram. The Martial Heaven Alliance did not accept traitors. However, this time it was different. It wasn't just the powers that had betrayed them. Even factions that had been neutral the entire time were willing to join. Just at this moment, the gates opened, and thousands of experts walked into the small yard. Chapter 2568 Bitter Pill These people were all elders, people with great authority on the continent. Yet, upon seeing Long Chen, they were a bit embarrassed, but they thickened their skin and walked in. How could Long Chen not see what was going on? He immediately stood. It seems that the Alliance head is planning on holding a gathering. This little one will bid his farewells little brat. Sit down. Hu Jin Ying reddened from anger. Long Chen had instantly seen through her intentions. Long Chen sat back down. The old man didn't say anything. Looking up at the sky as if nothing here had anything to do with him. What do you think should be done in order to strengthen the Martial Heaven Alliance? Hu Jin Ying spat out through clenched teeth. How could I dare to have an opinion? You look like you're going to bite me if I say something against you. It's like I won't even live to walk out of this courtyard. Long Chen bitterly smiled. It really was a case of growing more and more unreasonable with age. After having her plot seen through, she got angry. It seemed everything before had been a foundation to make Long Chen pull these people in. Although Yi Lingxian was the future alliance head, Long Chen was the true leader of the Righteous Path and their strongest force. In order for these people to join the Martial Heaven Alliance, the first requirement was Long Chen's approval. Otherwise, if they angered Long Chen, he would leave the Martial Heaven Alliance. Then the people's hearts would immediately fall apart. However, it was also unacceptable to not allow them to join. The Martial Heaven Alliance's divine item, the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet, required their power in order to unleash its full potential. With the tribulation about to descend, every bit of power could decide life or death. Although Ku Jin Ying also didn't like these people, especially the traitors, now was not the time to bother with those things. As a result, she had thickened her skin to have Long Chen discuss this matter. Originally, it should be up to Yi Lingxian to do this, but she was worried that Yi Lingxian wouldn't be able to handle Long Chen. So Ku Jin Ying had used her status as his senior to require him to participate. Long Chen, respectful greetings. One of the elders thickened his skin and got started. Stop, I can't accept it. Long Chen waved his hand, indifferently saying, I'm unable to accept such words from you. If I remember correctly, you were one of the people trying to con others into leaving the Martial Heaven Alliance. That, I was ignorant back then. The elder was embarrassed. He was quite eloquent and actually quite famous for it. It was precisely because of his eloquence that he had managed to convince many others to leave the Alliance as well. Now that they were returning, he was the one who thickened his skin to speak for those people. So many people had left because of trusting in him. If he didn't take responsibility for it, he would probably be beaten to death by them. So you were ignorant back then. Then are you still ignorant now? Sneered Long Chen. Now I've been enlightened and know right from wrong said the elder hastily. Then when will your next moment of ignorance come? Long Chen curled his lips. That, the elder turned red, not knowing how to reply. You've taken a blade and left a heavy cut on the Martial Heaven Alliance. Who knows when your next cut will come? Don't try to push the responsibility onto Pill Valley, the corrupt path, or the others. You are responsible for your own actions. 
Who knows whether or not you will be bought by the invaders when the time comes? Will you leave a fatal wound on the Martial Heaven Alliance this time? Demanded Long Chen. We swear on our souls. The elder raised his hand along with the others. Put your hands down. I'm not saying these things for you but for the Alliance head. I don't care whether or not you come back. Perhaps it is precisely because it is difficult for me to change my opinion that I'm not suited to be a leader. I don't have that tolerance to forgive other people's faults. Betrayal in particular is impossible to forgive. Due to this, I will not state an opinion about your return. Whether or not you return, I am still me. My goals haven't changed. I don't want to be some hero. I just want to live while protecting my friends and family. To me, you are completely dispensable. With or without you guys, it doesn't matter. However, it's not just me. The people who are most loyal to the Martial Heaven Alliance are the ones most hurt and feel the most disgust for you. Rather than wasting time with me, you should be thinking about how you can make things up to them, said Long Chen indifferently. When it came to the neutral factions, Long Chen didn't like them, but he didn't hate them either. The ones he hated were those that had betrayed the Martial Heaven Alliance. Even if it was Ku Jinying trying to advise him, he could not forgive them but he also wouldn't kill them or cause trouble for them. He didn't have the time. Then you do not oppose us joining the Martial Heaven Alliance, asked the elder. I do not oppose nor do I endorse it. There is just one thing I want to say. Long Chen suddenly became icy. If you join and betray the Martial Heaven Alliance again, then no matter where you hide, I will still kill you. Yes, we definitely will not betray you again. Those elders were delighted to hear this. Long Chen was essentially approving of them joining the Martial Heaven Alliance. The most difficult juncture had now just passed smoothly. They hated themselves for their foolishness. Back then, they had thought that the Martial Heaven Alliance had already fallen and would gradually decline until it collapsed. They had seized that opportunity to leave before being implicated themselves. However, the Martial Heaven Alliance was instead lifted by Long Chen, obtaining the support of the Wine God Palace the elusive music immortal palace, and the divine ice palace. Now they were even able to challenge the divine families. The ones who had left the martial heaven alliance now had nothing to rely on. Once the battle started, they would be instantly devoured by the tide. Only with a powerful force to rely on did they have any chance of survival. Worst of all, their elite disciples had almost all betrayed them, joining the martial heaven alliance against their orders. These old fellows were now only leading a group of young disciples that had yet to grow up, so they had no hope for their futures. Returning to the Martial Heaven Alliance was their best option, so they were willing to give up their dignity for this. This was also the will of everyone in their sects. Long Chen had essentially relented, causing them to thank him and over again. Eventually, they left the courtyard. Count yourself tactful. Ku Jianying smiled, relieved. I can't be bothered to deal with them. The main thing is whether or not the Martial Heaven Alliance can handle the disciples under its banner, said Long Chen. Yi Lingxian has already handled things. In truth, many of their disciples have joined us, leaving their sects hollow shells. Having to suffer through these days afraid of being destroyed at any moment is enough suffering for them. Even though they're coming back, their actions have left a stain on them. Unless they contribute some kind of great merit, it will be difficult to wash away that disgrace. However, all people have emotions. Those disciples who left their sects to join us have always thought of their sects. Just because of the foolishness of a small portion of people in the sect, the ones in power, the entire sect had to pay the price. That isn't fair to the others. After all, many people are unable to voice their own thoughts on the matter. Those old fellows are hateful but there are tens of thousands of innocent disciples in their sects. We can't ignore them. Ku Jianying sighed. This wasn't her being soft-hearted. It was truly the case. There were many disciples still in their teens in those sects. They didn't know what was right or wrong, but they still had to pay the price for the ones in charge. When the battle started, they wouldn't even have a place to hide. They would die miserably in the chaotic battle, and that was not what Ku Jianying wanted to see. Long Chen nodded. Perhaps you are correct. All things have good and bad parts. Forcibly stripping away the bad parts results in excluding a great deal of the good as well. Ku Jianying smiled. 
I'm glad you understand. You should know that Lingxian has been under immense pressure. Although I understand, I'm unable to accept it. That's why the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance must have a far vaster heart than me. I'm unable to do the same. I am too direct. Long Chen knew that Ku Jianying also felt bitter about letting them join. Long Chen could also understand her reasons for letting them join. However, Long Chen wouldn't have been able to make the same decision as her. If traitors appeared in the Dragonblood Legion, there was no way he could accept it. He couldn't imagine how much pain that would cause him. One reason for accepting them is because of their innocent disciples. Another reason is because we truly need them. Once they join, all their sect's karmic luck will support us, and that will allow the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet to unleash its greatest power. Do you still remember why I had you let the Sea Demons and the Corrupt Path leave? Asked Ku Jianying. I really don't. Long Chen shook his head. He had wanted to wipe them all out back then. It is because both of them have their own terrifying trump cards. The Corrupt Path's trump card is something that even the Divine Families are afraid of, said Ku Jianying gravely. What trump card? Let's first talk about the Sea Demon race. Daoist Heavenly Feather killed one of their kings. However, they have more experts on that level. In truth, the Six Horned Sea Serpent race is not the strongest of the Sea Demons. They have other experts hidden deep within the sea, and the other Sea Demons are essentially their servants. Those hidden experts won't even react to Daoist Heavenly Feather killing that 13th rank Sea Demon. However, if she were to charge into the sea and start slaughtering them, they would definitely make a move, said Ku Jianying. Long Chen's heart pounded. So the Martial Heaven Sea Ring was actually hiding such experts. What about the corrupt path? Is it the corrupt god cemetery? Asked Long Chen. No, the corrupt god cemetery is just a pretense. Their strongest trump card is another danger zone. Resentful Death City Chapter 2569 The Secret of Resentful Death City Resentful Death City Long Chen was started. This was one of the Martial Heaven Continent's seven great danger zones. These danger zones weren't all there at the start. For example, the heaven-devouring forest had only appeared when the spirit world's demonic trees invaded the Martial Heaven Continent, creating an area that was too dangerous to cross. However, the Heaven Devouring Forest had been destroyed by Long Chen, removing it from the rankings of the Danger Zones. Compared to the other Danger Zones, the Heaven Devouring Forest was nothing. Devil Spirit Mountain, the Yun Yang World, the Ancient Battlefield, the Corrupt God Cemetery, and the Martial Heaven Sea Ring were all Danger Zones that Long Chen had come into contact with. The only one he hadn't encountered was Resentful Death City. This name was rarely mentioned so he had almost forgotten about it. Ku Jianying said, The origin of Resentful Death City is very vague. It is said it was the first city to be destroyed on the continent during the Battle of the Immortal Era. Legend has it that the Martial Heaven continent was practically limitlessly large back then unlike now, and that city was sent into a bottomless abyss during the battle. After that, it became a channel between the Martial Heaven continent and another world. There are only two entrances on the Martial Heaven continent to Resentful Death City. One lies with the Divine Families, while another is in the hands of the Corrupt Path. The Divine Families entrance was created by them artificially, but the true channel is behind the Corrupt God Cemetery. By controlling Resentful Death City, the Corrupt Path has a hand over the threat of the Martial Heaven continent Resentful Death City? What is so amazing about it? Asked Long Chen. This was Long Chen's first time hearing Ku Jianying tell him so many secrets of the continent. When she said that the continent was almost limitless in size back then, he thought of me and Kang Gaiyu's words about how it was the core of a star field that supported Ku Jianying's words. Resentful Death City was once the Martial Heaven continent's strongest city, and also the place with the most intense fights against the demon devil world. It is said that Resentful Death City was the size of the current Martial Heaven continent. After that battle, the city was dyed red by the blood of gods. Corpses filled the city. The resentment that accumulated there is simply incalculable. And there are also countless treasures and divine abilities from the immortal era. However, the air of resentment is too strong. Unless you are a peak expert, just entering the city will cause your mind to break down. The Corrupt God Cemetery is linked to Resentful Death City. So, 
the corrupt path is in control of the gates to the city. You mean that they can open those gates and unleash the air of resentment onto the martial heaven continent, destroying it? Asked Long Chen. Hu Jinying shook her head. No, that resentment is locked behind the world barrier. It cannot enter the martial heaven continent. Even if the corrupt path did have a way to break the barrier, that resentment would be suppressed by the laws of the continent. The true danger is the corpses in the corrupt god cemetery. Every generation of the corrupt path will have their top experts buried in the corrupt god cemetery. Actually, rather than say they are buried, it would be more accurate to say that they are turned into puppets. After so many years, it's unknown just how many puppets the corrupt path has accumulated. Although they've kept it secret, we know that they've been using resentful Death City's air of resentment to nourish those puppets. If they are forced to the brink, they will unleash those puppets and bring forth a terrifying tribulation. At such a critical time, if you had chased down and slaughtered the corrupt path's final experts to the very last man, they would definitely unleash this trump card. Furthermore, they will open the gates of resentful Death City and unleash the corpse devils inside. This is why the corrupt path has survived for countless years. Even when sovereigns appear, they cannot wipe out the corrupt path because in their hands lies the power to destroy the martial heaven continent. Long Chen's expression grew ugly. No wonder Ku Jinying had some restraint when it came to the corrupt path. So the corrupt path had such a trump card. It doesn't matter what the sovereigns thought. I'll wipe them out sooner or later. Long Chen refused to believe that the sovereigns hadn't had the power to destroy the corrupt path. Perhaps they had their own thoughts, but Long Chen didn't care. Next time, if the corrupt path's people appeared again, he would hunt them down. Simply being beaten without fighting back wasn't his style. Hu Jinying smiled. I know, but even if you are to fight the corrupt path, you should wait a while. The corrupt path's experts have been dead for countless years. One year two years, it doesn't matter to them, but for you and your generation, the martial heaven continent's chi flow is now concentrated on you, you can all grow stronger with every passing day, if a clash with the corrupt path is inevitable, it is more beneficial for you to wait as long as possible, every extra day is a bit stronger that you will have grown, Long Chen nodded, that was reasonable, time was most beneficial to them, however, he was not necessarily a reasonable man, Otherwise, he would not have crushed Jarishan in front of everyone and given a vicious slap to the Divine Families. His relationship with the Divine Families had turned icy. Even if his relationship with the Long Family was not bad, the Long Family still belonged to the Divine Families. They would still be speaking for the Divine Families. Old man, this matter has been settled. Can I train in the ninth form of Split the Heavens now? Asked Long Chen. With such an attitude. You will definitely be unable to control the heaven's wrath. It seems three days is too short, snorted the old man. Although he acted disdainful, he was quite pleased inside. The more urgently Long Chen wanted to learn this technique, the happier he was. After all, this was the strongest technique of the heaven splitting battle sect. If Long Chen acted indifferent toward it, he would be angry. He was also anticipating the sight of Long Chen using the ninth form of split the heavens. Since the old man refused to teach him and Ku Jinying had many things to handle, Long Chen decided to take his leave. He returned to the Dragonblood Legion. He then saw the Dragonblood warriors still howling within the blood pool. Layers of their skin were constantly shedding as if they were boiling. Even Long Chen shivered. That kind of pain really wasn't something an ordinary person could endure. However, there were two people who weren't howling. One was Yu Zifeng. Strange strands circulated around him, blocking the dragon blood. As a sword cultivator, Yu Zifeng didn't need the dragon blood to temper his body. He was simply using it to temper his own will. The other person was wild. He was just lying down in the blood pool, sleeping. He had a half-eaten bone beside him that could be used as a pillow. A huge amount of the dragon blood was converging on him. It seemed that all on his own. He was absorbing more dragon blood than all the dragon blood warriors. Long Chen extended a hand into the blood pool and sensed that a great deal of its energy had been used up. He then injected more dragon blood into the pool. After that, he gave a thumbs up to his brothers inside and left. When he came to Guo Ran's room, he heard that Guo Ran's voice had turned hoarse, but it was still strong. 
that showed that he truly did have immense potential. He was still far off from his limit. Brothers, I can't endure Xia Chen's weak voice came from the other side of the wall. You have to endure. I was even able to endure this long. If a coward like me can do it, you definitely can do the same. Your will is stronger than mine, shouted Guo Ran. It seemed that he still didn't know that Long Chen had conned him. He was even worried about Xia Chen. After all, Xia Chen was a formation cultivator with a weak physical body. Guo Ran didn't just have to hold on himself, but he also had to encourage Xia Chen. Long Chen almost laughed. He hadn't expected Xia Chen's acting to be so good. With him accompanying Guo Ran, Guo Ran would definitely be able to unleash his full potential. Long Chen then took a glance at Xia Chen and saw him lying in the dragon blood, extremely relaxed and content. After that, he continued to walk further. Just as Long Chen was approaching Men Chi and the other's room, before he even got to the door, Lu Ruyan's icy voice rang out from within. Who's there? Who else could it be? demanded Long Chen. Do you want some fresh blood? Can you not treat me like a thief? Laughter rang out from within. But when the door opened, the laughter was cut off. No one had expected Lu Ruyan to actually open the door. As a result, dense blood-colored vapor came out of the room. Long Chen barely got a glimpse at some jade bodies when they all fled into the blood pool. Ruyan, what are you doing? asked Chu Yao, embarrassed. Lu Ruyan had opened the door without warning. Ruyan, I feel like you aren't all bad. Long Chen laughed. For the first time, he found that Lu Ruyan also had a lovable side. The door suddenly slammed shut on Long Chen just as he stepped forward. If he hadn't dodged fast enough, his nose would have been flattened. Do I need your praise? snorted Lu Ruyan. More laughter rang out from within and Long Chen sighed. It seemed that he had gained too many wives. He was worried that they wouldn't get along before, but now it seemed that they were too united. United against him. Long Chen then returned to Guo Ran's room, secretly adding some more dragon blood before leaving. Based on Long Chen's estimates, it would take seven days for them to undergo a complete transformation. He shouldn't disturb them during this time. At this moment, there was no need for him to refine pills. Hence, he had Huo Linger, the Demon Moon Furnace and the moon and star refining furnace refining things on their own. Since the old man wanted him to wait three days, he had to find something to do. After thinking about it, Long Chen chose to pay his respects to Daoist Heavenly Feather. He had to thank her for saving him. Therefore, Long Chen now took a transportation formation directly to the Northern Xuan region's Divine Ice Palace. The palace master has been waiting for you. Long Chen had just walked in when a disciple came to welcome him. Chapter 2570 Heaven Devastating Bracelet Inside the Divine Ice Palace Daoist Heavenly Feather was smiling like a kind elder. She no longer had her previous overbearing iciness. Junior thanks Senior for your aid. Long Chen immediately bowed upon seeing her. There's no need to thank me. The Martial Heaven Continent is a family. So saving you is saving ourselves said Daoist Heavenly Feather. You knew I was coming, asked Long Chen. The disciple had said that Daoist Heavenly Feather was waiting for him, making him curious. Yes, if you hadn't come, I would have gone to find you. Daoist Heavenly Feather nodded. My apologies for making you wait. I had some things that slowed me down. Do you need me for something? I do. Daoist Heavenly Feather looked at Long Chen. What do you think about the music master? Long Chen was startled. With Daoist Heavenly Feather's status, she wouldn't ask any random questions. Long Chen hesitatingly said, To tell the truth, she doesn't give me a very good feeling. Oh? Why not? Daoist Heavenly Feather was interested. Long Chen shook his head. I can't say for sure. The first time I saw her, my first impression was that she wasn't the person she appears to be. It's a strange feeling. Perhaps it's simply due to her not helping this time. Daoist Heavenly Feather smiled. That sharp intuition of yours is definitely a large part of why you could live until today. Heaven merging experts are one with heaven and earth. So even another heaven merging expert can't sense their thoughts. Let alone a nether passage disciple. Your cultivation technique must be powerful to be able to ignore this restriction. Your perception is startling is there really a problem with the music master? asked Long Chen, his heart pounding. 
I don't know. I just particularly don't like her. I feel like she's too sly to trust. That day, I intentionally targeted her to tell her not to forget her status and mission, but she didn't give a direct reply or promise anything. The chances that the elusive music Immortal Palace will slip their way through is very high, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. Long Chen nodded, gaining a deeper understanding as to the relationship between the Divine Ice Palace and the elusive music Immortal Palace. The two of them were both protectors of the Martial Heaven continent. When Zi Yan had roamed the world, she had been welcomed by all. No one had dared to be enemies with her due to the status of the elusive music Immortal Palace. On the other hand, the Divine Ice Palace was comparatively low-key. They almost never interacted with the outside world. But at this crucial juncture, they stepped forward to support the Martial Heaven continent, even going against the Divine Families due to their duty. However, the elusive music Immortal Palace, with their greater reputation, had actually turned coward at this moment. It was no wonder Daoist Heavenly Feather was angered. Senior, disciple has a question that I've always wondered. I just wonder if it is taboo asked Long Chen cautiously. Taboo? Haha, <laughs> you are the one who spat out the name of the Heaven Merging Realm. Taboos don't seem to matter to you. Just ask. If it is taboo, I simply won't respond said Daoist Heavenly Feather. Daoist Heavenly Feather hadn't expected this generation's unlucky bastard to be Long Chen. Theoretically, the person to speak the name of this realm should be extremely unlucky, someone the heavens were trying to get rid of. Normally, the one to say those three words would be destroyed by heavenly tribulation after accomplishing their mission of transmitting the name of the realm. Those unlucky fellows had been unremarkable little people because the heavenly deos would pick out someone useless to transmit the information. Hence, the fact that Long Chen was the one to say it in this generation was truly incomprehensible. It was almost laughable. Long Chen understood what she was thinking, and he didn't mind. In any case, he had long since gotten used to his luck. The Divine Ice Palace's Ice Divine Sword is the legendary supreme divine item. The Northern Source Sword. Then is Zi Yan's Seven String C Suppressing Zither Probe Long Chen. Yes, the Seven String C Suppressing Zither is the Southern Sea Zither, the Eastern Wasteland Bell, the Western Desert Axe, the Southern Sea Zither, the Northern Source Sword, and the Central Plains Cauldron are the five divine items relating to the five blocks of the Martial Heaven continent. However, in the battle back then, Daoist Heavenly Feather suddenly shut her mouth. Then Disciple wishes to know, if the Southern Sea Zither and the Northern Source Sword have appeared, then why is there no news of the Western Desert Axe and the Central Plains Cauldron? Asked Long Chen. Because in the battle back then, those two divine items were severely damaged. They vanished without a trace just like the Eastern Wasteland Bell and never appeared again. The Western Desert Battle God Palace had fought to the death in that battle, not leaving any of their inheritance behind. They were true heroes who vanished along with the Western Desert Axe. Central Plains Peak Dao Gate was also severely damaged in that battle, eventually declining and fading within the river of time. After the battle, every generation of their disciples took on the mission of finding the Central Plains Cauldron, but they all failed. Eventually, their line completely died out. Daoist Heavenly Feather shook her head sadly. Thinking of how glorious the Martial Heaven continent had been back at its peak, she was full of emotion and sorrow. She continued, as for the Northern Source Sword and the Southern Sea Zither, although they were preserved, they fell into slumber after that battle. Even now, they have yet to awaken. Neither I nor the Music Master can awaken them. The reason I can use a bit of its power is due to powering it with karmic luck. They possess their own consciousness and subconsciousness which permits us to do that. Then how can they be awakened asked Long Chen. They are waiting for their masters to awaken them. Zhikyu is the master that the Northern Source Sword is looking for. But even now, it seems that it has not formed a connection with her. On the other hand, the girl from the elusive music Immortal Palace has managed to obtain the Southern Sea Zither's approval. Her soul already has the fluctuations of a supreme divine item. Hence, I do not know why the Southern Sea Zither has yet to awaken. Daoist Heavenly Feather shook her head. Senior, that old ghost from the Yi family had a counterfeit Eastern Wasteland Bell, saying that it had its source energy. 
Does that mean the Eastern Wasteland Vel is in their hands? Asked Long Chen. That's unclear. Legend has it that the five supreme divine items fought against the heaven devastating bracelet back then. The leader of the five supreme items, the Eastern Wasteland Bell, endured the greatest impact, resulting in it fracturing. After that, its source energy was scattered throughout heaven and earth. Others then frantically gathered that energy in hopes of using it to find the Eastern Wasteland Bell and revive it. However, the Eastern Wasteland Bell shattered and vanished. Its source chi also gradually faded away. The divine families most likely didn't want the source chi to go to waste. So they created an imitation to lock a portion of it inside. As a result, the imitation was still an imitation. It looked like the real thing but lacked the power. It was unable to use the source chi. Other than being able to block the supreme aura of the northern source sword and southern sea zither. Such a bell has nothing amazing about it. That's why you could break it. Explained Daoist Heavenly Feather. Long Chen was startled. So the source chi inside that bell was nothing more than an extremely small part of the Eastern Wasteland Bell's original source chi. Also, he realized that Daoist Heavenly Feather didn't know that he had a fragment of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. She thought that he had used some other special means to break the counterfeit. No one had seen through the clues, and no one had noticed the fragment absorbing the source chi. This made Long Chen relax slightly. Wait a moment. You said the Heaven Devastation Bracelet? What is that? Asked Long Chen suddenly. Do you know the story behind the Martial Heaven Sea Ring? I remember. It was something about being made from a bracelet smashing into the continent. Long Chen suddenly recalled his first time crossing the sea from the Eastern Wasteland. Someone had said that the Martial Heaven Sea Ring was created when a bracelet smashed into the ground. At that time, Long Chen had snorted thinking that it was a story to trick brainless people. However, now that Daoist Heavenly Feather was putting it this way, it seemed that this story was not a fabrication. Yes, it was the result of the Heaven Devastating Bracelet smashing into the ground. During that battle, the Eastern Wasteland Bell was shattered, the Western Desert Axe and the Central Plains Cauldron vanished, and the Southern Sea Zither and the Northern Source Sword fell into slumber. On the other hand, the heaven devastating bracelet fell onto the continent, creating the martial heaven sea ring. The heaven devastating bracelet still resides at the bottom of the sea. As for its current state, no one can say for sure. The sea demon race does not allow anyone to check on it. When the continent's experts enter deep into the sea, they will face various restrictions. Their cultivation bases and divine abilities are suppressed as the depths of the sea belong to the sea demon race. They are unrivaled there. Most importantly, no one knows what is at the bottom of the sea. It's unknown if the heaven devastating bracelet has recovered. Perhaps the sea demon race is actually in control of it and is using it. That is why we don't dare to be too oppressive toward the sea demon race. Especially at this kind of time when invaders may attack at any moment. We must constantly be on guard. Daoist Heavenly Feather frowned. Even she didn't have a way to deal with the sea demon race. Is the sea demon race really so powerful? Asked Long Chen. Very much so. They are probably no weaker than the collective power of the cultivators on the continent. However, they are also impacted when they leave the martial heaven sea ring. That is why I dared to kill their leader on land without worrying about any retaliation. But we must be on guard toward the sea demon race. They are a pack of fools who are capable of anything. Furthermore. It seems that they have extremely secretive dealings with the divine families. Warned Daoist Heavenly Feather. Then is there a way to eliminate them? I really detest them. Said Long Chen. He didn't want to always have to keep an eye on his back for their sudden attack. Unless you can wipe them all out. It would be best not to make a reckless move. Said Daoist Heavenly Feather. Long Chen nodded. He had to think of a way to deal with the corrupt path and the sea demon race. It would be far too uncomfortable with them at his back. Hamdaoist Heavenly Feather's expression suddenly changed. The Devil Spirit Mountain's Sovereign Seal has started to crack. Chapter 2571 Sovereign Seal vanishes Countless experts had gathered in front of Devil Spirit Mountain. Hujin Ying and the old man were amongst their ranks. When Long Chen and Daoist Heavenly Feather arrived, Hujin Ying and the old man hastily came to greet them. Did no one from the divine families come? Asked Daoist Heavenly Feather. No. 
Furthermore, Ku Jianying shook her head. Furthermore, the original experts of the divine families that were guarding Devil Spirit Mountain have left. It's the same at the Yun Yang world. Long Chen sneered. The divine families are ceasing to cooperate with us? Are they trying to scare us? The divine families were originally guarding this place, but they had withdrawn without saying anything. Right now, the sovereign seal floating between the two giant stone pillars was starting to crack. It seemed that it would collapse in just a short time. The sovereign seal shouldn't have broken so quickly. Could it be? Someone cautiously started a train of thought, only to shut his mouth quickly. Many people's expressions grew ugly. It couldn't be that the divine families had intentionally damaged the sovereign seal to make it break earlier, right? Haha, <laughs> fools. Without the support of the divine families, how will the martial heaven continent fight against the invaders? Look at what you've done. Because of Long Chen, the continent is in incalculable danger. If we all die, it's Long Chen's fault. Suddenly, maniacal laughter came from the crowd. The speaker was wearing robes of the ancient family alliance. He was a tottering senior whose cultivation base was only at the life star realm. The divine families are trying to create fear and then put pressure on me and the martial heaven alliance. They have fractured the powers of the martial heaven continent, not allowing us to unite. He, I really didn't misjudge the divine families, snorted Long Chen. Seeing everyone looking at him, the elder was even more pleased. He loudly said, Long Chen, you are a petty little man who doesn't care about the big picture or the continent. In your stubbornness, you offended the divine families, Pill Valley, the corrupt path, and the sea demon race. Do you think that you alone will be able to save the continent from its crisis? Who do you think you are a sovereign? Even the sovereigns needed to unite the continent's powers to fight off the invaders. As for you. All you know how to do is kill the pillars of the martial heaven continent. If you have the ability, why didn't you kill the experts of the invading worlds? Instead, you act like a big shot on the continent. You have inescapable blame if anyone from the continent dies to these invaders. The elder didn't seem afraid of Long Chen killing him at all. His spittle flew out as he cursed Long Chen. Hearing this, countless people grew ashen with rage, and hands landed on their weapons. This person already had a foot in the grave, and his longevity had reached its end. Since he didn't have many more days of life regardless, they truly disdained killing such a weakling. Long Chen was surprisingly calm as he looked at the elder. He knew that killing him was meaningless. There were thousands, tens of thousands, or perhaps even more of him. Those people didn't have any ability in their lifetime, but they could fan some flames, duping people who didn't have information. They were capable of immense harm. Long Chen, don't you want to kill me? Come and kill me. I've lived my life, but I simply cannot bear to suffer in silence as you act so recklessly and throw the continent in danger. The elder continued to fan the flames of rage. He knew that everyone who had come here was someone with status and prestige. They disdained killing him. Killing him would lose them face. However, one person had finally lost patience. He was about to attack when he was stopped by Long Chen. Thank you, senior. I can deal with it myself. Long Chen shook his head. This elder was unafraid of death. So whoever killed him would have to bear a stain. The one about to attack had simply lost his patience and no longer cared. But Long Chen didn't want others to suffer for this. Ha ha ha. Do you see? The mighty Long Chen, the martial heaven alliance's strongest expert is actually going to kill an old man on the verge of dying. Come, my name will definitely go down in history. The elder grew even more pleased. An arrow shot over at the elder, aiming to kill him before Long Chen could. But Long Chen flicked it away with a finger. No need. Long Chen nodded his thanks to that person but did not accept their favor. Long Chen walked right in front of the elder and extended a hand. Everyone shook their heads. This elder was absolutely vile. Even in death, he had to be so vile. Come, kill me. If I frown in the slightest, then I'm not a man, sneered the elder. Long Chen shook his head and patted his shoulder. He straightened his collar. No matter how you put it, you are my senior. In the cultivation world, everyone is like a blade of grass that can be blown away at any moment. But every individual still views themselves as the true main character. You also had your own glory and things to be proud of. 
Even in death, you should keep note of your appearance. We cannot choose when we die, but when it comes, we can at least have a bit of dignity. The elder and everyone else was startled to hear such words coming from Long Chen's mouth. You, Long Chen continued, you are on the verge of death. You don't feel any fear, but let me ask you, are you really unafraid of death? Do you really have nothing holding you back? I, if you really are fearless, then you wouldn't have come here. If your heart was unfettered, you wouldn't allow yourself to be used by others. Perhaps you no longer have your father and mother, but you must have descendants. Do you know what kind of conclusion you are giving to those descendants? Asked Long Chen lightly. You, you're threatening me, demanded the elder. No, no, I don't threaten people. I disdain doing so. I'm simply telling you that your actions are tossing them into a bottomless abyss. The entire world is clear on what kind of person I am. I don't need to prove anything. But do you know? Those people whose wills aren't as strong, including your sons and daughters, will continue to spread your rumors after you die and bring chaos to the continent. If they have decent power, perhaps they will have some value to the divine families and will be helped out a little. But if they don't have any power, do you think that we will care about them after they do such things? Do you think the divine families will think these people have any value after they're done using them? When the tribulation descends, the divine families won't protect them, and neither will we. We won't have any responsibility to look after them. As for the divine families, do you think they will sacrifice their precious forces to protect them if they have no value? For you, dying is as quick as closing your eyes but your actions are also cutting off the only chance your descendants have of surviving. Of course, you may have thought this all through. Perhaps you feel that this world is too bitter and so you simply want to let them into Elysium with you. Long Chen shrugged helplessly at the elder. He had no anger in his eyes or voice, only pity. The elder's expression changed multiple times as Long Chen spoke. Fear gradually crept into him. Long Chen was telling the truth. Hence. The other experts nodded. At such a critical time, the people causing trouble on the continent would be mercilessly cut off and abandoned by others. I, I, the elder trembled. Lost. You still have two or three months of life left. Rather than wasting it here, why don't you consider it? Consider how a person should walk their final steps. Living in this world isn't easy. Even if your name can't go down in history, you shouldn't implicate your descendants implored Long Chen. Many thanks. I was muddled in my old age. Thank you for your reminder the elder actually knelt down and kowtowed to Long Chen, only to be lifted back up by him. After that, the elder left with an ashamed expression. The other experts then looked at Long Chen admiringly. This time, Long Chen had truly handled things beautifully. If he had killed the elder, nothing good would have come from it. There were plenty of people to replace the elder. The ones using him would encourage the rumors, ruining the image of the Martial Heaven Alliance by giving Long Chen a bad name. It was an extremely sinister scheme but had been easily resolved by Long Chen. Even Ku Jin Ying was pleased. I didn't think a time would come when you could also resolve problems without your fists. Long Chen smiled. Before this, I was always under the teachings of the old man. But now I am immersed in your sunlight. My wisdom has clearly soared. Little brat, are you defecting? Snorted the old man. Suddenly, the jade plates on everyone's waist buzzed. Everyone looked, and their expressions sank. The yin yang world sovereign seal has completely vanished. Let's go. Daoist heavenly feather grabbed Long Chen, and the two of them vanished. They shuttled through space. Long Chen felt like he was in a crack within space time. Suddenly, Daoist heavenly feather extended a hand. The void split open and the two of them came out. They had arrived at the yin-yang world. The entrance to the yin-yang world was no longer like it had been in the past. The scars from the battle when Long Chen had led the dragon blood legion against the blood race for three days were still present. They looked fresh. The sovereign might that had been holding this place was now gone. The channel was naked. There was not the slightest barrier in the way of the blood race. Moreover, the army of the divine families that had been guarding this place was gone. Even their defensive structures had been taken away. However, there was also no sound from the blood race within the yin-yang world. The silence was frightening. Just at that moment, 
Countless figures began to appear from the depths of the Yin Yang world. The Blood Race's army had finally come. Is the battle going to start ahead of time? Long Chen unconsciously clenched his fists. Chapter 2572 One person blocks the path the entrance to the Yin Yang world had lost all its barriers. There was no one defending it, and the various blockades were gone. Long Chen and Daoist Heavenly Feather stood in front of the entrance and calmly watched as the Blood Race's army appeared. They slowly pressed forward. As they advanced, it was possible to see an endless tide of them continuing to appear. Even though Long Chen had seen the heaven-devouring black armor cores in the Starfield Divine World, he was still stunned by the sight before him. The Blood Race truly had many experts. Those experts were all elites amongst elites. Every one of them had soaring blood chi. Even from this distance, their auras were terrifying. The Blood Race has finished gathering their army. They are just waiting for the Sovereign Seal to fully vanish. Now the battle is going to start, and the burden on your shoulders is not light, said Daoist Heavenly Feather solemnly. It doesn't feel too bad. It's not that much pressure. Long Chen smiled slightly. You aren't a Sovereign. You cannot lead the thousands of races. The forces loyal to you are limited. Moreover, you not only need to face the invaders, but you also have to be on guard against scheming enemies within the continent. It can be said that you are at the heart of the struggle. Any other person would break down if they were in your position. However, even under this pressure, you don't have those negative emotions. I'm curious. How did you do this? Daoist Heavenly Feather looked at Long Chen inquisitively. She was an existence that had lived for countless years. She had witnessed countless figures rising and falling. Her vision was extremely sharp. However, from the very start, she had never been able to see through Long Chen. Long Chen was sometimes extremely smart, yet often did inexplicably foolish things. He was sometimes domineering and callous, yet sometimes carefree and humorous. He could go from laughing to raising his saber and killing in the next instant. He had an emotional side, yet also an emotionless side. Thinking about it, if she was in his position, she would definitely be anxious and panicking. However, Long Chen still seemed unaffected. It was as if the endless army of the blood race was nothing. She couldn't help being curious. Negative emotions Long Chen laughed. Perhaps it's because my luck has always been terrible. If I wasn't able to keep my mood up myself, I probably wouldn't have lived to today. I can't rely on luck. I can only rely on my own power to fight for things. That's probably what resulted in my attitude of fighting to the death. In any case, everyone born in this world will not be leaving it alive. Having a group of beauties and hot-blooded brothers accompanying me, I've already gotten a great deal from this life. As long as I think of them, those negative emotions are expelled in an instant. Long Chen's smile was very warm. Life was beautiful but not perfect. However, the family he had made for himself gave him endless drive. Because he had them, he had the confidence to face any challenge. The Blood Race's army gradually got closer. When they saw Long Chen and Daoist Heavenly Feather, they slowly paused, staring at them. Call out your leader to speak with me, shouted Long Chen thunderously. The Martial Heaven Continent is about to be destroyed, and yet you still act so arrogantly? The human race really is foolish. An elder of the blood race stepped forward, sneering. The elder looked withered, but his blood chi was astonishing. His power caused the void to rumble around him. This was definitely a terrifying expert, someone on par with the heaven merging expert of the martial heaven continent. He gave off astonishing pressure. However, even this elder didn't dare to step too far forward in the face of Long Chen and Daoist Heavenly Feather. The blood race can use their bloodline power to sense other people's power. I can suppress my spiritual fluctuations, but they can still sense my bloodline fluctuations to estimate my cultivation base, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. So that was the case. Daoist Heavenly Feather was able to hide her cultivation base from everyone on the Martial Heaven continent, but she was unable to conceal it from this elder of the blood race. However, Based on the elder's restraint in the face of Daoist Heavenly Feather, it seemed that he wasn't a match for her. That made Long Chen feel much more at ease. You're the foolish ones. You've repeatedly tried to invade the Martial Heaven continent, but have you ever succeeded? Weren't you always kicked back like stray dogs in the end? 
sneered Long Chen. Long Chen swaggered over to the blood rays, standing not too far from them. He pointed at them, tilting his head back and extremely arrogantly saying, In my eyes, your blood race is nothing more than trash. I challenge you right now. Anyone who doesn't like what I'm saying can come out and fight me. In the same realm, I will fight with one hand behind my back. As Long Chen spoke, the old man, Hu Jinying, and the others finally arrived. Due to having to sit through transportation formations, they were a bit slower. When they arrived, their expressions changed. They were about to give the order for their forces to gather when Daoist Heavenly Feather stopped them. Leave things to Long Chen. More and more of the Martial Heaven Continent's experts began to arrive. Seeing Long Chen standing in front of the army of millions and millions of the blood races experts, they all felt their hearts beating wildly in their chests. Long Chen had one hand behind his back, while his other hand pointed at the blood race. His posture was exceedingly arrogant. The blood races experts were immediately infuriated. The elder narrowed his eyes, staring at Long Chen and seemingly calculating something. I'll challenge you. A large expert of the blood race suddenly stepped forward. This was a large expert. He was three meters tall but even wider than he was tall. Wielding a golden warhammer. From a distance. He looked like a short-legged toad. His head was barren of any hair. But his muscles were extremely shocking. His veins looked like saplings covering his body. Blood chi soared out of him along with golden light. This golden light was a mist that came out of his body due to his blood flowing so rapidly through him. Dauntless Blood Branch. Ranked top 10 within my branch 10 years ago and now 86th in the 8th Wild Battle Army. Report your name. Shouted the large man of the blood race. Me? Ha ha ha. Are you ready? Don't piss yourself when you hear my name. Long Chen suddenly laughed and pointed at himself with his thumb. I am Long Chen from the Martial Heaven Continent's Eastern Wastelands Phoenix Cry Empire. I learned literature at 3, started training in martial arts at 4, and mastered poetry at 5. Before 10, I swept through the Martial Heaven Continent and retreated from the cultivation world 10 years later. Today, the sudden change in the world has drawn me out of my seclusion. The heavens collapse from a single punch. The earth shatters with a kick. When I swept through the continent, Countless enemies lay beneath my feet. Hearing Long Chen's bragging, Daoist Heavenly Feather was dumbfounded. She then shook her head. Youngsters really did have too much energy. Even at such a time, he was in the mood for such a thing. Shut up. Who would believe such bragging? What rank are you? Demanded the large man. Even he realized that Long Chen was just conning him. My rank? Oh, I'm ranked 3709 answered Long Chen obediently. Die. The large man roared furiously. His blood chi erupted, and he smashed his warhammer at Long Chen. Long Chen snorted and Evil Moon appeared in his hand. As he sneered, Evil Moon suddenly stabbed behind him rapidly. The void exploded, revealing an almost invisible elder behind Long Chen with Evil Moon stabbing through his chest. The elder then stared at the blade stabbing his chest in disbelief. The Martial Heaven Continent's experts were all shocked to realize that the blood race had been scheming against Long Chen. Boom. Just at that moment, Evil Moon shuddered and explosive power ripped through the Elder, blasting him into a bloody mist. At the same time, the large man's warhammer reached Long Chen. Long Chen only unleashed a simple punch to receive it. His scale-covered fist made the warhammer explode on contact. The large man shuddered intensely. Half his body crumpled while the remaining half of him tumbled back. In an instant, one died, and the other was badly injured. The most shocking thing was that the elder that Long Chen had just killed had unleashed his aura just as he died, revealing that he was an existence matching a heaven-merging expert. You said that the human race were fools, but it seems that you're the real fools. You want to play this kind of game with me? One fellow draws my attention, while another sneak attacks me going so far as to even wanting to capture me alive instead of killing me. You really are ambitious. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder and sneered. The blood race didn't have the human race's magical arts, but they did have their own unique bloodline divine abilities. This elder had used one of those divine abilities to conceal himself. It was an extremely rare ability within the blood race. He had thought that he would be able to easily capture Long Chen. However, 
He had never imagined that Long Chen's nine-star hegemon body art was most sensitive toward this kind of sneak attack. Even without the nine-star hegemon body art, there was no way he could have approached Long Chen secretly. Long Chen had Azure Dragon Essence blood flowing within his body, making him sensitive toward other bloodlines. To approach him in secret was a joke. If that elder had faced him directly, Long Chen wouldn't have been fully confident in beating him. But that fellow had been courting death. So Long Chen helped him out. Despicable human race. Your ranking can't possibly be that low. You're a liar. The large man crawled up from the ground. The part of his body that had been destroyed had yet to recover. But he still pointed and cursed at Long Chen. Long Chen snickered. I didn't lie. In terms of height. My rank amongst the martial heaven continents experts is 3709. The large man suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood and collapsed. He died. Suddenly, the void split open, and a blood-colored spear pierced toward Long Chen with immense divine power. A voice resounded throughout heaven and earth. The trash human race has no right to be arrogant. Die. Chapter 2573 Tit for Tat The world shuddered. Although the attacker had yet to appear, with only the spear present, a terrifying pressure was unleashed. The idiot blood race has no right to be arrogant. Let's see just how much power you have, sneered Long Chen. He stepped forward, his divine ring and six-star battle armor appearing. Boom. Long Chen's fist smashed into the spear, unleashing a thundering chi wave that shook the void. As a result, a figure appeared. It was a young man of the blood race. He seemed surprised, not having expected Long Chen to block his attack barehanded. You have some power. No wonder you dare to be so arrogant. However, the human race is trash. No matter how strong you grow, you're still just prey in the end. You can't escape the grasp of the hunter. The man from the blood race sneered. With a wave of his hand, blood chi filled the air, rapidly growing denser. This was similar to a domain. A domain powered by his bloodline power. It was strangely similar to the manifestation domains of the martial heaven continents experts. It's too early to say who is the prey and who is the hunter. Power will decide everything. Long Chen snorted and charged forward, ignoring his domain. He sent a kick to the blood race man's face. What shameless boasting. The martial heaven continent's life forms are like chives that are reaped time and time again, sneered the blood race man. He clenched his left hand, and the void twisted. Long Chen was pulled toward him. It was as if the distance between them had been shortened. The blood race man stabbed his spear at Long Chen's heart. It was longer than Long Chen's leg, so Long Chen would definitely be struck first. It seemed that the blood race man could control spatial energy within this domain. Reaping chives? How laughable. Do you even know how many of you charged onto the continent? Do you know how many of you left alive? Long Chen snorted. Boom. Long Chen had no choice but to switch targets. His foot landed on the spear. Unleashing an explosive chi wave, the spear was thrown off target, and Long Chen unleashed a punch at his opponent's chest. With his spear knocked aside, the blood race man also had to unleash a fist in response. His fist was aimed at Long Chen's chest as well. Just at that moment, his chest and fist became covered in blood-colored runes that firmly protected them. Two explosive sounds rang out. Long Chen and the blood race man's fist struck the other's chests at the same time. As a result, Long Chen flew back with a muffled snort. As for the blood race man, the shield he had condensed in front of his chest was shattered, and his chest caved in. He coughed up a mouthful of blood. Seeing him cough up blood, startled cries rang out from the blood race's army. Clearly, this man's status was extremely high within the blood race. They hadn't expected him to be at a disadvantage. You're always beaten like dogs and flee but you still have the face to act arrogant. Does the blood race not know what shame is? Sneered Long Chen. However, he was shocked inside. This person was on the level of a sovereign sprout. Furthermore, his attack was a bit strange, causing Long Chen's chest to have an itching lingering pain. Furthermore, his blood had turned sluggish for a moment, almost stopping within his body. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such an attack. However, this kind of power could not suppress dragon blood. It only had a small effect before he recovered. Long Chen flew back as he spoke. 
arriving right in front of the blood race man and unleashing another kick to his face. At this moment, the blood race man was startled that Long Chen had arrived in front of him. Considering the previous exchange, he didn't dare to keep fighting Long Chen with just his physical body. Hence, he blocked with his spear. Long Chen's foot slammed into the spear and smashed the blood race man into the ground, leaving a giant hole. Long Chen stood in the air, looking down on his opponent. He clasped his hands behind him. You bragged enough to shake the heavens, but your current appearance doesn't match up to that arrogance the blood race's experts were staring in shock. Unable to believe their eyes, the Martial Heaven Continent's experts began to cheer. It seems that this person has an outstanding position within the blood race, but even he isn't good enough in front of Long Chen. For the Martial Heaven Alliance to have gained such a figure, the heavens are truly looking out for the righteous path. We're unified and have such an outstanding figure. We've reached an unprecedented level. We can definitely triumph over this tribulation. The ones who had arrived were all experts who had lived for countless years. Elders who were leaders of their individual sects. To put it frankly, when it came to whether or not they themselves would survive this tribulation, they no longer cared so much. They cared more about whether or not their sect's inheritances would survive whether or not their disciples would live. Even if they had to die on the battlefield, they could at least face their ancestors with pride if their sects and disciples survived this tribulation. Now that Long Chen had soared from an insignificant little figure to the point that he had obtained everyone's approval, both the junior and senior generation felt increasing confidence in him. Although he wasn't too likely to become a sovereign, they believed that Long Chen could lead the Martial Heaven Alliance to victory. The old man and Ku Jin Ying exchanged a smile. Long Chen's charisma had won over all of these elders. The Martial Heaven Alliance had never been so united before. This proved that their vision was correct. The land quivered and then exploded. The blood race man charged out like a shooting star, and killing intent overflowed out of him. Blood-colored flames burned in his eyes. Little human, you think you can be arrogant he roared. Having entered a crazy state, in the blood race, he was someone with an immense reputation, but as soon as he arrived here, he was injured and humiliated. This was unacceptable to the blood race. The battle had yet to start. Both sides were just looking for advantages, one of which was the morale of the troops. This was extremely important to the battle. Morale was the crux upon which victory or defeat turned. High morale could lead soldiers to unleash even greater power than their normal peak, but low morale would bring forth fear lack of confidence, and such immense pressure that their power sharply dropped. They could collapse in the first exchange. By blocking the blood race's army all on his own, Long Chen was giving the Martial Heaven Continent a good head start, raising their morale before the battle even started. The blood race's army was the same. Even if the Martial Heaven Continent had no defenses, they wouldn't immediately launch an assault. They would show off some of their power first to intimidate the continent's experts, causing their confidence to crumble. With Long Chen blocking the way, the countless experts inside the Blood Race's army couldn't just charge out at him. That would be meaningless toward boosting their morale. Only by defeating him in a one against one could they raise their morale. The previous elder of the Blood Race had realized that Long Chen was extremely powerful, and that there was likely no one who could suppress him for now. That was why he had ordered the Heaven Merging Expert to sneak attack and capture him. Regretfully, that Heaven Merging Expert was killed in one blow. As for Long Chen's new, current opponent, he had just arrived. He was intending on winning back some face, only to face further setbacks. This man of the blood race also knew just how important this battle was, so he didn't hold back. Blood-colored runes whirled out of him, and when his spear pierced through the air, it caused multiple cracks in the void. This terrifying power proved that he truly was on the level of a sovereign sprout. If I'm not qualified to be arrogant, then are you? Sneered Long Chen. His divine ring suddenly began to spin. His astral spaces lit up, and world energy poured into his arms. He swung Evil Moon with his full power. He didn't just want to win, but he wanted to win in an overwhelming fashion. Boom. The two divine items met and unleashed an explosion like that of a star. As a result, the blood race expert spear shattered, and his body was cut in two from the shoulder to his waist. Damn, Evil Moon, 
You really are amazing. Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. The instant their weapons clashed, Evil Moon's edge suddenly lit up, unleashing a shocking sharpness that the spear was unable to endure. Although Long Chen didn't know that spear's origin, after just a few exchanges, he was sure that it was an extremely powerful divine item, but it had still been destroyed by Evil Moon. I'm finally getting the hang of your new six-star power, so I can start to merge with it. He, I didn't expect it to work so well, said Evil Moon. Evil Moon had its own power, but it also needed Long Chen's power to unleash its full potential. After Long Chen had changed the cultivation method of the nine-star hegemon body art, Evil Moon had gradually started to be able to merge with a bit of Long Chen's power. Although it was a very small merger, it was enough to multiply its power from before. Evil Moon also hadn't expected the rise in power to be so high. Kill him. Evil Moon and Long Chen shouted at the same time. It then lit up once more as it slashed toward the blood race expert. That expert had been cut in two, but the blood race's abilities were truly bizarre. He didn't explode, but this was definitely a serious injury. Hence, if he was hit a second time, he would definitely die. However, a bone claw suddenly appeared in front of him, blocking Long Chen's attack and saving his life from the edge of death. Long Chen's heart shook. The Bone Claw's mysterious runes had dissipated a portion of his attack's power. At this moment, the Bone Claw suddenly lit up with divine light and pierced toward Long Chen's chest. Just then, a Jade Hand appeared, catching the Bone Claw. After that, the Bone Claw was instantly covered in frost and then shattered into fragments of ice. Chapter 2574 World Divine Item It was Daoist Heavenly Feather who had interfered. She had received and destroyed that divine item with her bare hands. As a result, the elder of the blood race coughed up a mouthful of blood. The destruction of this divine item caused him a significant injury. Shameless blood race. You act so high and mighty while always doing these shameful things. Long Chen roared. At this moment, lightning exploded out of him. And he charged toward the blood race's army. Courting death. Kill him. Seeing Long Chen charging at their army of millions all by himself, all the blood race's experts were infuriated. Long Chen was looking down on them. This was an unacceptable insult. The blood race man that Long Chen had injured had barely recovered, but he couldn't hold his emotions back. With a furious roar, he slashed using a broadsword that appeared in his hands Noveloon.com at the same time. Dozens of other experts from the blood race also attacked. Every one of those attacks was exceptionally sharp. All of you can come together. When have I ever been afraid of you? Battle intent sword out of Long Chen. Ignorant arrogance the blood race's experts were incensed. Never having met such a wildly arrogant person. Boom. Long Chen's saber swept through. Blasting apart the dozens of attacks coming toward him. Sword Chi. Spear images. Astral winds. They were all cut in two along with their attackers. This attack from Long Chen contained his domineering will, along with a dark aura that made his enemies shiver. After all, amongst those attackers was one on the level of a sovereign sprout. Even so many of them were unable to receive his attack. Ha ha ha, we've finally reached the threshold of man and saber being one. Long Chen, remember this feeling. When our power merges, it grows far stronger. Evil Moon laughed, feeling extremely pleased. In all its fights alongside Long Chen, it had felt extremely stifled because Long Chen was too weak to draw out its power. Now that Long Chen had changed the cultivation technique of the nine-star hegemon body art, their power was slowly matching up. This cooperation resulted in a subtle, marvelous change, and that uninhibited feeling made Evil Moon incomparably excited the saber swept through the rank of the blood race, slaughtering them. At this moment, chaos reigned. They wanted to charge over at him, but with so many of them against one person, they would be unable to unleash their full power. That would only create more chaos. Arrogant brat. Die. A bone staff with a strange glow to it suddenly pierced toward Long Chen's chest. A violent bloodline pressure changed the color of heaven and earth. This was a heaven merging expert, and he had been forced to interfere because no one here could suppress Long Chen in the same realm. Long Chen then blocked with Evil Moon. Just as he had expected, the blood race's heaven merging experts controlled a strange kind of power capable of erasing a portion of his and Evil Moon's power. 
After the clash, the bone staff was not broken but was forced aside, revealing an old and ugly blood race elder with yellow fangs. Scram. Are you trying to make me nauseous? Long Chen felt a wave of revulsion at being so close to that old face, and he casually swung his hand. At this moment, the blood race elder was about to follow up with another attack, but Long Chen's slap had landed on his face. As a result, his yellow fang soared through the air, while he shot back like a shooting star. Startled cries rang out as he smashed through the army, killing quite a few of them who were unable to dodge in time. Long Chen then raised his hand, condensing a blooming giant flame lotus. Sacred chanting filled the air. Come, since it's our first time meeting, it would be rude not to give you a gift. I'll give you a red flower. Long Chen smiled sinisterly. As soon as the world extermination flame lotus appeared, the blood race's army reacted. Disrupt him. They could already sense the danger of the flame lotus. So they charged at Long Chen. A pair of lightning wings then appeared on Long Chen's back, but just as he was about to move, his smile stiffened. The world instantly turned silent. Suddenly, pain racked his body. A blood-colored spear had struck like a viper, piercing through his body. After that, his body instantly withered, and he fell into absolute darkness. Not good. Long Chen quivered. He woke from what felt like a nightmare, and a sense of absolute danger overwhelmed him. Although the flame lotus had yet to reach anywhere near its peak size, Long Chen had no choice but to toss it in front of him. Boom. Flames exploded. But those flames merely existed for a single ripple before being extinguished. Following that, a sharp aura locked onto Long Chen that turned him ice cold. He was locked down. And most shocking of all, he was unable to sense where this attack was coming from. In that instant, it felt like he had been stripped naked and was standing on a frozen wasteland, with all his weak spots exposed to his enemies. Steady yourself and sense carefully, reminded Evil Moon. Long Chen clenched Evil Moon. He suddenly let out a cry, slashing Evil Moon in a certain direction. As a result, his slash struck nothing. A hand then pushed him aside, and an explosion blew up the void. An ice crystal exploded, filling the world with frost. The blood race's experts were forced to hastily retreat to avoid this terrifying ice G. Within the flying ice, Long Chen had been pushed outside of the realm of the Yin Yang world by Daoist Heavenly Feather. Senior, you. Long Chen saw one of Daoist Heavenly Feather's arms injured. The sleeve was gone, and blood was dripping down. It's fine. Daoist Heavenly Feather quickly recovered. Ice grew over her injured arm, and new white robes appeared. Her robes were actually condensed of ice energy. However, although she said that she was fine, Long Chen clearly sensed that her aura was fluctuating. This injury was not a light one. As expected, the Blood Race's World Divine Item has already come. Without one of the five Supreme Divine Items, no one can block this kind of attack, said Daoist Heavenly Feather, seemingly having expected this. Despicable human race, if you have the gods. Come out and fight. The blood race's experts immediately started to get arrogant once they had forced Long Chen and Daoist Heavenly Feather to retreat. The blood race was truly sinister. They had activated this terrifying divine item behind their own backs, injuring Daoist Heavenly Feather. It seemed that they had won back a bit of face. It was no wonder Daoist Heavenly Feather had pushed him aside. That attack had made Long Chen see a scene of his own death. It was capable of even injuring Daoist Heavenly Feather. The arrogant shouting of the blood race immediately made Long Chen react. He waved his hand, tossing out a dozen metal balls. You didn't want my little flower, so I'll give you a few beads. You can string them into a bracelet. Those metal balls were quite refined and covered in intricate carvings. If placed in a large hall, they would definitely have value as ornaments. Who would want your trash things? sneered the blood race's experts. They didn't believe that Long Chen would send them something good, so they launched their attacks. Suddenly, those metal balls accelerated, dodging those attacks. Like a slippery fish, they wove through them. These metal balls were specially made by Guo Ran for Long Chen. In order to match his status, every one of them was built with only the highest class materials. Furthermore, Spiritual runes had been carved onto them so that Long Chen could control their flight. They were specially made for Long Chen. 
as only spiritual strength on his level could control such heavy things. Originally, Guo Ran had made them for Long Chen as a life-saving measure. It wasn't necessarily to save himself but for the Dragonblood Legion. The Dragonblood Legion would encounter many great battles in the future, and if their enemies were too concentrated, launching one of these would instantly reduce the pressure. However, in his fury, Long Chen had tossed out a dozen of these life-saving measures. Some of the blood race's experts were shouting, even if they were fools, they would be able to tell that this was nothing good. Some tried to catch the balls and toss them away. Some fled. Explode Long Chen shouted, and those metal balls suddenly lit up with the light brighter than the sun. As they exploded, countless leaf-sized blades shot out, rapidly spinning. Even divine items were instantly severed by their power. At this moment, countless screams ripped through the air. Many of them were only injured, but the blades also had the venom of the poison dragons on them. So even if they didn't instantly die, they were quickly poisoned to death. With just a dozen metal balls, all the blood race experts within 10,000 miles were wiped out. The blood race's army roared furiously. Want to fight? Come at me. Long Chen pointed Evil Moon at the Blood Race's army. Chapter 2575 Forcing enemies to retreat the Blood Race's army was instantly enraged, and they charged to the exit of the channel between the Martial Heaven Continent and the Yun Yang World. But they didn't charge out. I could already beat you like dogs in the Yun Yang World. If you come into my world, I'll beat your crap out through the top door. Long Chen placed Evil Moon on his shoulder and disdainfully looked at the furious blood race experts. Although there was just a single step's distance between the Yun Yang world and the Martial Heaven continent, the two of them had different laws. Long Chen wasn't an Empyrean, so he was capable of fighting in both worlds without much of a difference. If Empyreans entered the Yun Yang world, it would be harder for them to gather heavenly Tao energy to support themselves. They might not even be able to summon their manifestations. On the other hand, the blood race's experts were also stronger in the yin yang world with its laws. But if they came into the martial heaven continent, the difference in laws would also affect their combat power. This was why Long Chen had antagonized them by charging into their world to challenge them. He dared to enter their world, but they didn't dare to come to his. Daoist Heavenly Feather held back a smile. Long Chen truly had some skill when it came to his mouth. Sometimes he said such unexpected things that it made others laugh. The blood race's experts didn't get it as quickly as she did. Only after a while did they understand what it meant for crap to come out through the top door. When they understood, some of them couldn't hold back and charged out. The elder leading them shouted at them to come back, but 10,000 of them had gone crazy with rage and didn't listen to his orders. A mere group of ants. Long Chen snorted and swung Evil Moon. A saber image blasted all of them to pieces. Those powerful experts were nothing in front of Long Chen. They were instantly wiped out. Nice. Quite a few experts from the Martial Heaven Continent side had arrived. Seeing Long Chen slaughter 10,000 of them in one blow made them cheer. Long Chen rested his saber on his shoulder once more as if he had just done something wholly insignificant. He then indifferently stared at the blood race's experts who looked like flames were about to explode out of them. As expected, their power was reduced upon entering the Martial Heaven continent. He also found that while these experts were not dumb, it seemed that their bloodline power could affect their minds, and they would lose their logic when they were angered. Despite knowing that they would be suppressed upon entering the Martial Heaven continent, so many of them had still charged out. This is the power of the blood race? You were wiped out before even half of my attack's power was used up. Trash like you wishes to conquer the Martial Heaven Continent? Are you trying to kill us by making us laugh to death? Sneered Long Chen. Human bastard. The blood race's experts furiously gnashed their teeth. Suddenly, a strange sound came from within the Yun Yang world, making the blood race's experts' expressions change. Their fury was suppressed, and the red glow in their eyes also faded. You are Long Chen? Our world gate has already opened. Our world energy is pouring into the Martial Heaven Continent. When the time comes, the laws of the Martial Heaven Continent will be a mix containing our laws as well, and we will no longer be suppressed. Then you will be slaughtered like livestock fit to only beg for your lives before the blood race, said the young man from the blood race that had a similar power level as a sovereign sprout. So what? 
I could cut you once, and I can cut you a second time. You were lucky this time that someone saved you. If it weren't for that shameless elder interfering, you would already be dead. I don't dislike arrogant people, but I do dislike idiots who act arrogant without the power to back it up. If you disagree, then let's fight right now. I'll let you pick the location and time, said Long Chen indifferently. You, the blood race man raged, but he was already traumatized by Long Chen. Long Chen was correct. If it weren't for that elder, he would have died. At that time, they had been within the Yin Yang world's domain. Even then, he hadn't been a match for Long Chen. If they were to fight one against one, he would only be sending himself to his death. HMPH, I'm currently unable to unleash my full power. Just wait until this place has our laws as well. Then you will understand how terrifying the blood race is, and just how foolish your arrogance is, snorted the blood race man. Whether or not you can unleash your full power, I swear that if you show yourself in front of me again, I'll make you kneel and beg for mercy. If you are the top expert of the blood race, I'd advise you to scram back to wherever you came from. I'm not even interested in raising my blade against people like you, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen was now doing his best to provoke the blood race's experts. As a result, their eyes were glowing scarlet once more. Bullshit. Do you think you can imagine our power? I am merely one of the blood fiend devil lord's subordinates. The blood race man suddenly shut his mouth, his expression completely changing. The blood fiend devil lord? What an ominous name. I was born to slay devils and fiends. This name is taboo. When I see him, I'll definitely beat him until he can't tell which direction is north, sneered Long Chen. Although Long Chen was still acting arrogant, he was startled. The blood race was truly powerful. It seemed that even an expert on the level of a sovereign sprout was nothing more than a subordinate. If the subordinate was already so powerful, just how powerful was this blood fiend devil lord? The stronger he was, the hotter Long Chen's blood grew. You, the blood race man was enraged that Long Chen would insult the blood fiend devil lord. However, before he could say anything more, the elder interrupted him. The human race is nothing more than fish on the chopping block. Being eaten is only a matter of sooner or later. Rather than wasting more time speaking here, it would be better to settle things next time with our forces. The elder waved his hand, and the blood race's army began to retreat. The blood race man then pointed at Long Chen, gnashing his teeth and telling Long Chen to just wait. After that, he left with the others. The blood race's army of millions vanished beyond the channel. At this moment, the experts of the Martial Heaven continent were still rushing over, and some of the latecomers only got a glimpse of the Blood Race's army's backs as they left. They were confused, not knowing what had happened. Did the Blood Race go to all this trouble just to intimidate us? Asked one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's sect leaders. Li Xiangxuan explained, Sect leader Zhao, you are correct. Their only goal was to strike fear into our hearts. The aura of their world has yet to fully invade the continent. Before the continent's laws are changed to also support them, they will not undergo any large-scale invasions. This was just to apply pressure on us. It's not too surprising. Their intelligence isn't particularly high, so they often use such childish techniques. Li Xiangxuan was publicly viewed as the brain of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Hence, its members all had faith and respect in him. His explanation made them nod. Based on the blood race's character, they had very likely come with an army in order to catch them off guard. After killing a few people, they would retreat back within the Yun Yang world before the continent's forces gathered. This would give a display of their power and make the continent's people feel despair. It went without saying that an army of millions had truly been a stunning sight. However, their plans had gone awry, because as soon as they arrived, they met Long Chen. He had blocked them, killing a heaven-merging expert and hundreds of thousands of their army. Even an expert on the level of a sovereign sprout had been beaten badly. Rather than shaking the continent, the blood race had only given a blow to their own morale. Their depressing retreat made others laugh. Although this loss was nothing to the blood race, it was an invigorating piece of news to the martial heaven continent. Now, people felt an even greater respect for Long Chen. Using his own methods, he had inspired them. In the past dark eras, 
the martial heaven continent had always been the passive defender. Although the sovereigns had forced back the invaders, every dark era had resulted in the martial heaven continent taking a grievous blow to its core. Countless experts had died on the battlefield Novaloon.com Practically every person had ancestors that had been killed by the invading races. Hence, their hatred toward the invaders had reached the level of wanting to tear them apart and drink their blood. Long Chen's victory made them grateful, as well as feel hope for the future. Long Chen, what do you think? Asked Daoist Heavenly Feather. Long Chen shook his head. Their divine abilities are focused on the bloodline. My own bloodline is unaffected by their suppression, but others might be affected badly. The blood races experts had tested several moves against him, but the power of his dragon blood was too strong. Because of it, they had ended up fighting in the most direct confrontation, so he hadn't gained any valuable information about their special techniques or such. The blood races attacks are very strange. It's impossible to keep track of their divine abilities. In the past dark eras, they always came with new techniques. Perhaps they are afraid of us grasping their weaknesses so they change their cultivation methods, or they send different races against us each time. In any case, our accumulated experience against them isn't very useful. If we were to rely on that past experience, we would actually lose out. We can only rely on ourselves to test them out, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. He, although I didn't manage to figure out their trump cards, I did find some of their fatal weaknesses. The blood race isn't worth fearing. Long Chen smiled mischievously. Chapter 2576 When the old tiger's not at home fatal weakness? Tell us, exclaimed Ku Jinying. The blood race relies entirely on their bloodline power. While fighting, their blood starts flowing inconceivably fast. Hence, being poisoned is fatal to them. Due to how rapidly their blood flows. As soon as the poison enters their bloodstream, they'll die before having a chance to expel it. You all saw how they died after they touched the poison from my bombs, right? Said Long Chen. When they had seen those blood race experts collapse in numbers, they had been startled, but they hadn't noticed why. Only now did they suddenly recall that it was a bit odd. This could be considered a major difference between the blood race and the human race, since they relied on their bloodline power to fight. A touch of poison could instantly spread throughout their entire body. On the other hand, the human race's power was spread through the essence, chi, and spirit. The essence represented essence blood, which was spirit blood, and this was just a supportive power. As a result, when it came to resisting poison, the human race was far superior to the blood race. Based on Long Chen's original expectations, after being poisoned, there should have been many blood race experts screaming in pain, which would impact their confidence. But their poison resistance was so low that they had directly died without having a chance to scream for long. Because of this, he couldn't achieve his original goal, but he had found a fatal weakness. This truly is a fatal weakness. But why has such a weakness not been noticed in the past? Wondered one person. Senior Heavenly Feather said that the blood race has many branches. In order to prevent us from seeing through them, they are most likely switching between various races to attack us. That way, it's useless even if we grasp their weaknesses. Because next time, it won't be the same attackers, said Li Xiangxuan slowly. That was the only reasonable explanation. If the blood race really had such a fatal weakness, then considering the past dark eras, someone must have noticed it. Perhaps my luck is good and I encountered the weak generation laughed Long Chen. It's just unknown whether or not different branches will come after we counter this wave. Cough. I'm not trying to jinx it. Don't take it seriously, said a sect leader, hastily apologizing in the middle when he saw the other's expressions change. He had just been casually wondering, but Long Chen couldn't possibly take it casually. With his luck, anything could happen. It seemed that the chances of getting an advantage like this were incredibly low considering his luck. No, you are very reasonable. This is very likely, so we can't take them lightly, said Long Chen solemnly. This sect leader was moved to have Long Chen treat him respectfully as a senior, with the likes of Feng Fei, Jia Rishan, Yi Liangchen, Jiang Wachen, Long Aoshan, Yi Miang, and the others treat him like that? When speaking to them, he had to look up at them, 
On the other hand, Long Chen treated him and everyone else sincerely. It was not artificial at all. He truly viewed him as a senior. Because of this, let alone the hot-blooded youngsters, even old fellows like them were willing to spill blood for such a figure. Other than the sovereigns, who else had this charisma? However, Long Chen wasn't even a sovereign sprout. It was quite the conundrum. Long Chen is correct. We absolutely cannot be careless against these invaders. The Martial Heaven continent is powerful, but we have trouble on the inside as well. We have to maintain our highest state of vigilance, said Kujinying. Alliance head, the divine families have left along with their defensive formations. Since we have to stand guard over the yin yang world ourselves, we need to construct several transportation formations, said someone. Kujinying nodded. We cannot count on the divine families, so we need to rely on ourselves. They are actually so petty that they just suddenly abandoned their defensive post. They don't care about the big picture. We can't leave our backs to them. Sect Master Chi, I'll leave this matter to you. Set up three main formations and eight emergency formations. As for what type and scale, you don't need me to go into details. Right, said Kujinying. That Sect Master Chi nodded. After following you for so many years, have I ever disappointed you? Don't worry, it shall be done. Good. The blood race definitely won't undergo any large-scale assaults during this time, but we must be on guard. Disciples that are no longer in seclusion should join us on the battlefield, said Kujinying. Daoist Heavenly Feather suddenly said, warn all the disciples not to enter the yin-yang world, even if the blood race provokes them. The entire yin yang world is covered by their world divine item. Going over would be risking death for nothing. Since even Daoist Heavenly Feather had been injured by that mysterious attack, anyone else would definitely die. Because of this, she was worried that some prideful disciples might charge over, sacrificing their lives for nothing. Although such a terrifying attack was not for those ordinary disciples, entering the yin yang world was entering the enemy's home territory. Everything was within their control, so it would still be suicide. Long Chen looked at the entrance to the yin yang world and then stared at the mist. As a giant egg entered his mind, he sighed. He had no idea how little snow was. They had been apart for so many years. Last time, little snow had taken the curse meant for him and died. Just thinking about it brought him pain. Regretfully, with the yin yang world locked down by that terrifying world divine item, there was definitely no way that he would be able to sneak inside again. Little Snow, wait for me. I'll slaughter my way in and take you back. Long Chen clenched his fists. Once he advanced to the heaven-merging realm, perhaps he would be able to pull Little Snow out of the abyss. Ku Jin Ying took action, making swift and decisive moves. Her followers were all extremely efficient, and the Martial Heaven Alliance's people quickly arrived, setting up the formations. Some disciples were also sent over to help. Everything was methodically arranged. Senior, are you all right? Long Chen looked at Daoist Heavenly Feather worriedly. He noticed that she still had a faint rosiness to her face that was not normal. The power of that divine item is extraordinary. However, this kind of wound is nothing. Within ten days to half a month, I'll have fully recovered, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. Everyone's heart shook. Even a terrifying existence like Daoist Heavenly Feather would require recuperating for so long to recover from a single attack? Hearing this, Long Chen felt even greater gratitude. If it hadn't been for Daoist Heavenly Feather, that attack would have taken half his life, if not all of it. I'll take my leave, so I entrust this place to you, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. Long Chen hastily said, Senior, I'll send you off, after all. She had been injured because of him. He felt very apologetic. No need. You have many things to do. Don't waste your time. Daoist Heavenly Feather smiled kindly at him and then left. Once Daoist Heavenly Feather left, the old man gravely said, I'll need to make a trip back and beat that warning into those brats. Otherwise, they'll take far too heavy of a loss. The most disobedient disciples in this world belonged to the heaven-splitting battle sect. Those fellows were capable of doing anything. Old man, the situation is pressing. Can you teach me the ninth form of split the heavens? Whether or not I can learn it, I need to try. 
What if I'm one of those amazing geniuses that instantly masters it? Said Long Chen. Right now, the door to the Yin Yang world had been blown open, and Devil Spirit Mountain's sovereign seal would probably fully vanish within a few days. The Martial Heaven Continent didn't have the time to wait. The old man hesitated. Finally, he said. Fine, I'll teach it to you. But don't get your hopes too high. I estimate that your chances of learning it are extremely low. We can try though so that you don't get hung up on this matter. Hearing this, Long Chen was delighted. At the same time, Hu Jinying shook her head but didn't say anything. She didn't seem to have much hope for Long Chen to be able to learn it. Hu Jinying stayed behind, temporarily not returning to the headquarters because she had many things to handle. And at this moment, Yi Lingxin was leading her people here. As for the Nangong family, Bidang family, Xuan beasts, and Mo Gate, Hu Jinying didn't request any help from them. The Martial Heaven Alliance only mobilized a portion of their forces, with most of them being seniors. They were still giving the junior generation of disciples as much time to cultivate as possible. Hopefully, they would be ready to attempt breaking through the Heaven Merging Realm as soon as possible. When the moment was ripe, they could make their breakthroughs, which would allow the Martial Heaven Continent's power to instantly soar. With Hu Jinying personally watching over the Yin Yang world, Long Chen had no need to worry about it. As for Devil Spirit Mountain, the Sovereign Seal had yet to fully break, so only Li Xiangxuan brought a group to stand guard over it. With everything having been arranged, Long Chen and the old man returned to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, but as soon as they approached, they heard shouting and cursing from the plaza. Boss Ba was currently glaring at Bao Buping. It seemed that Boss Ba was thinking of giving him a beating, but Bao Buping was already an expert at the fourth step of Nether Passage. Boss Ba seemed unable to sort him out, so he had to use his throat. How many times have I told you to wait for the news from the old man? Are you trying to revolt? roared Boss Ba. Unacceptable. We can't wait that long. We weren't able to give a proper display in the Starfield Divine World, weakening the prestige of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect this time. We have to put on a good show, said Bao Buping, sticking out his neck stubbornly. Little brat, your wings have grown so you're not going to listen. Is that it? You dare to disobey the orders of the old man, raged Boss Bao. Since he was unable to suppress Bao Buping, he could only use the old man. HMPH. I've remembered every single one of that old man's beatings. Sooner or later, I'll return them all. I'm already a fourth step Nether Passage expert. When I have the time, we'll have to consider whether or not it's time for him to give up his sect master position. Ow. Oh, Bao Buping suddenly felt a sharp pain on his butt and was sent flying by a cane. The old man appeared in front of them. Little brat, you think you can flip the heavens already? I'll give you your chance right now. If you beat me, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect is yours. Chapter 2577 Controlling the Heaven's Wrath The old man suddenly descended from the sky and sent Bao Buping flying with his cane. Despite his age, he looked like a celestial god. In the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, there was one rule. Whoever's fist was bigger was who was right. The position of the sect master was based on power, not seniority. Old man, don't regret those words. I've been holding back for a long time. Bao Buping turned toward the old man. Although he still had reverence in his eyes when he looked at the old man, he acted as if he didn't care about that. His broadsword appeared in his hand, and he pointed it at the old man, shouting, Take out your weapon. Don't let others think I'm bullying you. Cheers erupted from the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples. They all encouraged Bao Buping. Do I need a weapon to beat a little brat? You really think you're something now. This cane is enough to beat the crap out of you, said the old man disdainfully. Arrogant old man. Do you think I'm still my old self? Take a look at the new me. Bao Buping then charged forward with his broadsword. At this moment, his manifestation appeared behind him, and a heavy pressure crashed down. Even Long Chen nodded inside. Bao Buping was truly powerful. He could lock down his opponent with the will contained within his sword. Together, they became one with heaven and earth. This was one of the fundamental principles of the heaven-splitting battle sect, and Bao Buping had mastered it perfectly. You still dare to not use your full power? You think I won't be able to keep up? 
The old man suddenly struck with his wooden cane, quick as lightning. He had struck Bao Buping's broadsword in three specific spots. Bao Buping staggered as all his energy was instantly thrown out of balance. He reeled to the side, almost falling. Long Chen saw it clearly. The old man had distorted the broadsword's energy. He could disrupt an attack with less than a hundredth of the attack's energy. Long Chen already knew the result, so he shook his head. The old man had led the heaven-splitting battle sect for a lifetime, and all the heaven-splitting battle sect's techniques were within him. There was no way Bao Buping could beat him. Old fellow, you have some skill. I won't stand on courtesy then. Bao Buping refused to admit defeat though. Since the old man had broken his technique so easily, he unleashed his full power. His manifestation rumbled, and a vast aura sword split the heavens eight. Bao Buping directly used his strongest attack, forcing the old man into a single exchange to decide victory or defeat. As a result, just as he used this technique, the old man interrupted it. He appeared in front of Bao Buping, causing Bao Buping to curse. Shameless old fellow, Bao Buping had no choice but to change techniques, resulting in him being sent tumbling back by the cane once more. Bao Buping spat out some dirt. There was some blood in it. If you have the gods, fight me like a man. We can have a competition of power against power. Bao Buping once more raised his sword to unleash the eighth form of split the heavens. Little brat, do you think that bit of superficial knowledge makes you qualified to be a sect master? I'll show you the true split the heavens divine art. The old man snorted and raised his cane, using it as a sword. Boom Bao Buping coughed up three mouthfuls of blood and was sent flying back. The difference in power between the two was immense. Fuck. I refuse to believe this bullshit. Raged Bao Buping. They were clearly both fourth step nether passage experts. But he was still inferior to the old man. Most infuriating of all. The old man hadn't even summoned his manifestation. This made Bao Buping feel like he had lost all his prestige. So he charged back. As a result. The old man did not spoil him. His wooden cane was like lightning. Striking him all over. Despite Bao Buping alternating between furious roars and curses, he continued to fight. Bao Buping was quickly covered in blood. The old man was ruthless. How was this teaching a child a lesson? Not even beasts of burden were beaten like this. However, even as his skin was torn apart, Bao Buping refused to give up. He continued trying to win, but from start to end, he didn't even manage to touch the old man's clothes. Chang Hao and the others twitched and involuntarily gulped. The old man was actually this powerful. In the end, it was Long Chen who couldn't bear to keep watching. He then pulled Bao Buping out in an opening. Old man, have some mercy, advised Long Chen. If this continued, Long Chen didn't know about any crap being beaten out. But the old man was definitely going to end up beating Bao Buping until he looked like a pile of crap. Fuck, this is bullshit. How can the difference be so great? Cursed Bao Buping. His face was covered in blood. He had tried countless times and failed every time. This showed him that there was still a huge gap between him and the old man. Long Chen. I can't beat him. But I've given you a good start. The next one is you. Bao Buping turned to Long Chen. Was he trying to con him? Long Chen shoved Bao Buping aside. Old man. Never mind. Just pretend I never came. Continue. No, Long Chen, you can definitely beat him. Then the heaven splitting battle sect will be our world. Bao Buping grabbed Long Chen, almost begging. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. After being beaten for so many years, this kid still didn't learn his lesson. The old man's divine might is incomparable. Even if I train for another 20 years, I won't be a match for him. A person should know their own power. I feel like I should keep training first said Long Chen. He definitely didn't want to go against the old man. The old man cared a great deal about face just like a child, so he didn't want to offend him. Bao Buping was about to speak again when the old man struck him in the butt once more. However, this time there wasn't much power behind it, startling him. The old man chortled. Little fellow, not bad. You're still able to retain your mind after being struck so many times. You've improved. Excellent. You can train in the ninth form of Split the Heavens with Long Chen. The ninth form of Split the Heavens. 
Everyone let out a startled cry. Even Vaspa and the others. Old man, you're going to transmit the ninth form of split the heavens? What about us? Vaspa and the others instantly grew excited. They had waited for many years, but they had never gotten a chance. The seven of you can train with Long Chen, Yuping, and Chang Hao. It just so happens that with so many people, you can gain experience from each other, said the old man. Boss Bao and the others instantly grew excited. Chang Hao was dancing. The old man had the other disciples leave. As a result, some of those disciples started to protest. The old man simply said that anyone who could beat Bao Buping or Chang Hao could also come with them. After hearing about this, about a dozen disciples who were especially close to the two of them started to think about how the two of them could let them slip in as well. They could easily pass this test with some help from the two of them. However, the old man then said that if either of them were defeated, they would lose their qualifications to train in it. Hence, those people could only leave dejectedly. Boss Bao and the others excitedly followed the old man to the rear mountains, to the old man's wooden house. The old man then pushed open the door, revealing a transportation formation. Boss Bao and the others were surprised. They had never realized that there was a transportation formation here. The formation activated, and they appeared in a world of fire. It was as if they were in lava. A violent aura hung in the air. This is the world inside the heaven-splitting divine tablet. However, due to half of it still missing, this world is not very stable. The heaven-splitting divine tablet is the crux for training in the ninth form of split the heavens. Without it, there is no way to train in it. Forcing it will only result in death. That's why I never allowed you to train in it. Furthermore, the difference in our realms is also because of the ninth form of split the heavens, said the old man. He waved his hand, causing divine light to fall from the sky. Long Chen and the others suddenly felt as if they were bound by chains. The old man continued, the ninth form is different from the previous eight forms. It is said that when trained to the pinnacle, it can slay immortals and slaughter gods. However, the stronger the technique, the more difficult it is to train in it. It is also more dangerous. Without the assistance of the heaven-splitting divine tablet, we have to be even more careful. One mistake, and no one can save you. We know. Hurry up. How ow. Bao Buping was beaten once more due to his impatience. With that kind of attitude, there is no way you can train in the ninth form. Do you think I'm just saying these things for fun? Raged the old man. Bao Buping became much more obedient. He glared but didn't say anything. Pay attention. The first step to learning the ninth form is to master the heaven's wrath, said the old man. Suddenly, the old man's manifestation appeared behind him. Following that, a berserk pressure crashed down upon them. Boss Bao and the others instantly turned pale. This pressure contained endless fury, which couldn't be faked. It was true anger. The old man was looking at them as if there was a blood sea of hatred between them. In that instant, they felt as if they were facing a berserk god. They didn't dare to move. It was as though if they dared to move even a little bit, the old man would really kill them. The old man's aura became icy and merciless. Although he didn't take out his sword, Boss Bao and the others were already soaked in sweat. They didn't even dare to blink. Old man, you wouldn't really be wanting to kill us, right? Asked Boss Bao nervously. Chapter 2578 Uncontrollable The old man put away his manifestation, and that terrifying furious will vanished. The pressure enveloping all of them also faded. Old man, are you alright? Long Chen hastily asked upon seeing the old man was also sweating. There was an unhealthy rosiness to his face. The old man shook his head, indicating to him not to worry. Once his aura calmed down, he finally said, I really have grown old. Just entering this state is too heavy of a burden. The old man sighed. Long Chen took out a chair for him. You brats, what are you staring at? Are you blind? The old man started cursing Boss Bao and the others. Boss Bao and the others rubbed their heads. They were lost as to what the old man was cursing them for. This is the heaven's wrath state. To use your own anger to draw out the emotions of the heavenly deos causing the wrath of the heavens to infect the world, using the heart as the foundation and your manifestation as the bridge, having the world energy within your astral space merge into heaven and earth, allowing you to control the laws of the world, 
Legend has it that when you train to the pinnacle of the ninth form, with a single thought, you can cause mountains to collapse and seas to dry up. You can kill people without moving a finger, said the old man. Bob Uping and the others clenched their fists excitedly. They hadn't expected the ninth form to possess such power. Bob Yuping was so excited that he wanted to press on with questions, but Chang Hao covered his mouth. He didn't want Bob Yuping to get beaten again. This is using one's will to control the heavenly deos. Then doesn't that mean it will be even easier upon entering the heaven merging realm? Asked Long Chen. The old man nodded. You are correct. The heaven splitting battle sect's disciples truly start standing out upon entering the heaven merging realm. They can look down on all others in the same realm. However, your current realm is the best for controlling the ninth form of split the heavens. Once you enter the heaven merging realm, you will be overwhelmed by how much power starts to surge toward you. If you can't control it, you'll die. The old man then pointed toward the sky, continuing. This is the heaven splitting divine tablet space. The outside world's energy is absorbed inside here and diluted. Drawing out the heaven's wrath in this place is extremely difficult, which is why I'm so tired. But it is also due to this that the danger is the lowest here. There won't be a backlash if you fail. Since you are all at the nether passage realm, the optimal realm for controlling the heaven's wrath, I will now teach you the mnemonic. Memorize it. Start at Shengxuan. Shengxuan to Changshan. Yin Yang to the spirit platform. Anger grows in the head. Runes began to light up around the old man's body, indicating how the technique was supposed to work. It was a simple and straightforward mnemonic. However, when Long Chen tried to follow this mnemonic, as his essence, qi, and spirit merged, his anger suddenly flared. It was as if countless grudges were about to burst out of him. He had an urge to start randomly hacking his saber. Because of it, he jumped and hastily suppressed that feeling. He looked toward Bob Yuping and the others, which had furious auras. Their hair was floating in their anger, and their eyes were scarlet as if they had become bedeviled. Why did you stop? Keep going, shouted the old man upon seeing Long Chen exit the state. Long Chen tried again. When his essence, qi, and spirit once more merged, his anger exploded again. All his past grievances filled his mind. Control it. The old man's shout was condensed into a single thread that entered Long Chen's ear. However, to Long Chen, it felt as if his voice was coming from a great distance, and it was very muddled. With his second attempt, he was able to control it ever so slightly. But after a few seconds, he retreated from the state again. He was already sweating and panting for breath. His face was pale. Just now, if he hadn't left the state, he would have lost his mind. He very likely would have started randomly killing. What is wrong with you? You can't even control a bit of rage, demanded the old man. Long Chen shook his head. Let me first get used to it slowly. Once I find the feeling, I should be able to do it. Die. Suddenly, Bao Buping attacked with his broadsword. The old man was prepared and blocked with his cane. After that, he kicked him in the chest, shaking him. As he flew back, his furious aura vanished. He could only lie on the ground, unable to get up. Chang Hao also attacked in the next instant. However, he didn't attack the old man. Instead, he was just randomly swinging his weapon. The old man also kicked him. It's only been an incense stick's worth of time. The old man didn't have a good expression. Long Chen's expression was worse. Bao Buping and Chang Hao had lasted an incense stick's worth of time while he had only lasted a single breath's time, rubbing their chests. Bao Buping and Chang Hao staggered over. They saw Long Chen looking at them. You couldn't hold on, maybe. I just didn't find the feeling, said Long Chen awkwardly. It seemed these two brothers of his were really direct. If they were such good brothers, was there a need to throw salt on the wound? After another incense stick's worth of time, the sixth boss was the first to reach his limit. With a whack from the old man's cane, he woke up. Then was the fifth boss, seventh boss, second boss, fourth boss, and third boss. Only boss Ba was able to endure for an extra few breaths before also reaching his limit and being knocked to the ground by the old man. What just happened? Asked boss Ba and the others. In the state of heaven's wrath, you still have to retain your sanity. If your consciousness is devoured, 
a person will go crazy. You are using your rage to influence the heavenly deos, but the wrath of the heavenly deos will draw you in, affecting you. If your will isn't strong enough, you will be the one consumed by the heavenly deos, and you will not be able to differentiate between friend and foe. You're saying that my will isn't strong enough, asked Long Chen in disbelief. Bao Buping and the others also didn't believe it. A powerful expert like Long Chen had to have a correspondingly powerful will. There was no shortcut to becoming an expert. The will was the foundation. It most likely isn't a problem of will with you. It's that your own control over yourself is so weak that you can't control yourself, said the old man. The others were beaten by me. Even if they have a temper, they know when to control it. Although from the outside they look like they have explosive powers, they actually have great endurance. As for you, you have always been free and had no restrictions. When you encounter something you don't like, you can explode however you like. You have no such endurance the old man couldn't help frowning. Long Chen's current situation was extremely thorny. If you can't control your own anger, then you can't train in the ninth form of split the heavens. Can you? Asked Bao Buping. You can. But if you can't control your anger, you will be the one controlled by the heavens wrath. You'll end up unleashing your entire being into one attack. After one attack, you'll be dead, said the old man. Bao Buping and the others sucked in a cold gasp of air. This ninth form was incredibly ruthless. If they were unable to control the heaven's wrath, then they would only be able to unleash it once in this lifetime. Long Chen's expression also changed. He was the one clearest on his own condition. It wasn't that he couldn't control it, but there was another arrogant soul deep within him. The will of that soul was constantly influencing him. This was why Long Chen was like a fool jumping into the most childish traps on the continent. When he got angry, it didn't matter who he was against. He would directly attack. The consequences of such a thing were not considered. If controlling his own anger was necessary to use the ninth form of split the heavens, then training in it would be as difficult as defying the heavens. Long Chen suddenly thought of Ku Jianying's expression. So Ku Jianying had predicted this in advance. Long Chen's cultivation base is also different from ours. Perhaps there's a rejection, but there's nothing to be done about it. Go into the training room and see the result. Perhaps there will be a turn for the better the old man brought them to a sliding door. When they entered, they saw a bustling city before them. The old man said, take a walk straight through this place. Everything inside is an illusion that you don't need to care about. You will see countless things that anger you, but you have to endure. Do not strike back no matter what. This is a process for tempering the heart. You can start now. Bao Buping stepped inside without hesitation. He vanished. After that, Long Chen clenched his teeth and entered. Then it was Chang Hao, the seventh boss, the sixth boss. When boss Bao also vanished, the old man scrunched his face. He hadn't expected Long Chen's control to be so lacking. Now it was troublesome. Hopefully Long Chen can last a bit longer inside the training grounds. Just as the old man was praying for him, a figure appeared in front of him that made him curse. Isn't this too fast? Naturally, this figure was Long Chen. Boss Bao had just vanished into the training grounds when Long Chen came out. Hence, the old man had an urge to beat him with his cane. That idiot cursed my mother. I wasn't going to let him get away with it. Long Chen shrugged. Aggrieved. You. The old man almost coughed up blood. He had just said that this was all an illusion. The only goal of this training was to ignore everyone inside and continue pressing onward. Then Long Chen would see different trials. But because of one person cursing him, he directly killed them and failed. Get in again. You better take this seriously and grow a brain. Remember, everything inside is an illusion. They're all illusions. Illusions. Understand. The old man sputtered at Long Chen angrily. All right. I'll try harder this time. Long Chen took a deep breath and walked in again. The old man took a deep breath to calm his own anger. When he saw Long Chen still standing in front of him, he angrily shouted, Why haven't you gone in yet, old man? I already came back. Chapter 2579 Unable to pass you can't blame me. That person actually tried to slap me in the face. Before I could even react, I was already out. 
Long Chen hastily explained himself when he saw the old man shuddering with anger. This time, it really wasn't Long Chen's fault. This illusion was too lifelike. The first time, someone had provoked him, cursing his mother, and it had resulted in Long Chen killing him with a punch. Although Long Chen knew that it was just an illusion, he was instantly enraged when someone insulted the mother that he respected. This time, he had been planning on turning a deaf ear to everything around him. As a result, one person had instantly shot up to him and tried to slap him, without even having a chance to think. Long Chen had slapped him back. By the time he remembered that he couldn't fight back, he had been sent back out. However, he was a bit guilty with his explanation because as soon as he had been sent out, he had jumped back in before the old man noticed. As a result, that person appeared again, getting right in his face. So Long Chen had slapped him again. Hence, he was sent out again, dumbfounded by why that person was always against him. That hesitation was then noticed by the old man. Seeing him standing there foolishly, he thought that Long Chen hadn't entered yet. Can you be serious? What kind of time is it for your jokes? The old man grabbed Long Chen's shoulders and shouted at him. His white hair was standing on end. He looked like he was going to explode because he thought that Long Chen was intentionally messing around now. Old man, I wouldn't mind climbing a mountain of blades or jumping into boiling oil. Even if you told me to go take my blade and slaughter the divine families, I wouldn't frown. But when it comes to this, I really can't do it. Although I know a man can't say that they can't. I really can't. I can't hold myself back, said Long Chen helplessly. This trial might not be difficult for others, but it was impossible for him. Long Chen had already come to a realization. Entering this training ground was being passively drawn into the heaven's wrath state. But who could endure constantly being aggrieved and having nowhere to vent, and then suddenly having some idiot come up to you and curse you? Even if he repeatedly told himself that everything in that world was fake and an illusion, he wouldn't care after going inside. Even if you can't endure it, you have to endure. How else are you going to train in the ninth form of split the heavens? Teaching it to you would be killing you, said the old man darkly. Don't panic. There will always be a solution. We can slowly figure it out. I want to see how Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and the others do first, said Long Chen urging the old man to sit and calm down. I'm curious, weren't you bullied back when you were young? Why is it that you can't endure any grievance at all? Why is your self-control so lacking? Asked the old man. Wasn't it a case of being suppressed to the point of rebelling? After being bullied enough, it became unacceptable to suffer the slightest bit. If I were to return to that time in my youth, I probably wouldn't live past a single day. My soul is also merged with my blade. Evil Moon, I'm affected by it as well, said Long Chen. You shameless bastard, you dare to blame me, cursed Evil Moon. Long Chen ignored Evil Moon. Long Chen knew that his will was affected, but it was from the Pill Sovereign memories. However, mentioning the Pill Sovereign was taboo. He didn't dare to say it, so he blamed it on Evil Moon. Although he had never explained Evil Moon's origin, the old man was well aware that this was a sinister divine item. The heaven spitting blade senses told him just how terrifying it was. The old man frowned but couldn't think of any solution. Time passed. After two hours, Bao Buping came out. Following him was Chang Hao. The two came out at almost the exact same time. Both of them were in frightening states. Their eyes were scarlet, and blood was leaking out of the corner of their mouths. They had bitten through their lips, and their teeth had shattered from being clenched so hard. The veins on their foreheads were bulging. Not bad. You've just barely reached the initial requirements for training in the ninth form of split the heavens. If you go through the training a few more times, you'll get accustomed. The old man nodded with some rare praise. Bao Buping and Chang Hao were delighted to hear this. However, their expressions then grew odd when they looked at Long Chen. Long Chen, did you fail again? Again, yes. Well said. Long Chen nodded and raised a thumb. Just at this moment, several other bosses came out. They only lasted a few more breaths than Bao Buping and Chang Hao. You've surprised me. The old man looked at them oddly. It truly was unexpected. Bao Buping and Chang Hao's display had been a bit surprising. However, the one that he had had the greatest hopes for, Long Chen, 
irritated him the most. The void suddenly twisted, and the old man brought them to a barren land. The aura of the heavenly deos was extremely weak here. Bao Buping and Chang Hao were empyreans, but they felt that even summoning their manifestations was extremely taxing here. This is another cultivation area. The heaven-splitting divine tablet has absorbed the laws of the heavenly deos and diluted them for this training area. Compared to the martial heaven continent, there is only one thousandth of the heavenly Tao energy here. This is the best place to train in the ninth form. Kifeng, you start. Activate the heaven's wrath state and exchange a blow with me, said the old man to Boss Bao. Only now did Long Chen learn Boss Bao's full name. Boss Bao nodded. His aura suddenly changed. A violent aura erupted, and his manifestation instantly appeared. Long Chen could clearly sense the laws of heaven and earth fluctuating. Boss Bao's fury was like a blazing fire that slowly ignited the heavenly Tao energy here. It slowly spread. After that, explosive sounds rang out from the void. Boss Bao's hair whipped in an invisible wind. His appearance was like that of an angry lion. The old man suddenly wrapped Boss Bao in the face with his cane, twisting his entire head. He shouted, You're not angry enough. This isn't enough to flow out and become one with heaven and earth. This strike from the old man caused Boss Bao's fury to soar. Blazing flames spread out of his manifestation. It was as if this attack from the old man hadn't just struck Boss Bao's face but also the face of the heavenly deos. The heavenly deos were enraged. Do you see? This is the state. Have your own fury merge with the fury of the heavenly deos. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. A manifestation can only borrow the power of the heavenly deos but that energy is limited. By drawing forth the heaven's wrath, you merge with the heavenly deos to unleash explosive power, said the old man. Boss Ba suddenly roared, and his broadsword came out of its sheath. In that instant, the void let out a mournful whine. What a terrifying attack. Long Chen was shocked. The power of this attack was more than ten times stronger than one of Boss Bao's normal attacks. The old man then switched out his cane for the heaven-splitting blade. An explosion erupted when their weapons met, and Qi waves blew back Bao Buping and the others. Despite trying to stay rooted, Long Chen was also blown back dozens of meters. Two long ditches were left in the ground. The power of this attack can match the blood race's sovereign sprout. Long Chen's heart shook. Boss Bao's attack was actually this terrifying. Boss Bao was also blown back after this attack. He tried to get up, but he was powerless to stand. In the end, it was the seventh boss who helped him up. Even so, his body was constantly twitching. His face was pale. Even his eyes had dimmed. That appearance worried everyone. The old man said, No need to be afraid. This is the normal reaction. Kifeng, well done. You did better than I did back in the day. Perhaps this is the benefit of slowly building up a firm foundation. Due to my realm being lower, the backlash was smaller for me. But your realms are stronger and your senses toward the heavenly deos are also stronger, so it is more difficult to control it the first time. This is the power of the heaven's wrath state. It can unleash all your power. However, you have to hold back the slightest bit of power. That power is for keeping your own life, to resist the backlash of the heavenly Tao energy. If you don't keep that bit of energy in reserve, you will die. To preserve that bit of energy requires preserving your mind in this state. Kifeng. Just now, you managed to keep 3% of your energy. That's quite impressive. The backlash is rather strong for the first time. If you had only preserved 1% of your energy, you would have instantly lost consciousness. If you hadn't kept even 1%, then because this place is the world of the heaven-splitting divine tablet, you wouldn't have died, but you would be unconscious for up to a month. On the other hand, on the martial heaven continent, you will need to hold back 90% of your power if you want to keep your life. The laws of the heavenly deos are a thousand times stronger on the continent than here. However, if you hold back 90% of your power, what would be the point of this attack? Its power would be less than the eighth form then. That's why if you want to control the heaven's wrath, you need to continue training here. Once you can control your emotions, you can unleash your full power. I'll try it. Bao Buping charged out. As a result, he had only just started accumulating energy when he was knocked down by the old man. Brat, did you hear me? 
I told you that if you don't hold back some energy you'll be unconscious for a month. Who has the time to wait for you? The old man cursed him furiously. He even kicked him at the end. All of you, come up one at a time. Long Chen, you go last. Old Tu, you start, shouted the old man. The second boss thickened his face and stepped forward. Chapter 2580 Unleashed Fury Be Serious. What kind of time is it for this nonsense? If you keep messing around, I won't be giving a damn about your face, said the old man darkly. The Martial Heaven Continent was surrounded by enemies, and the sovereign seals were breaking. Even the old man was under immense pressure. The reason he had refused to pass on the ninth form of split the heavens all this time was because he had been waiting for the other half of the heaven splitting divine tablet to return. However, even after several years had passed, there wasn't any news from it. Considering the current situation, he had no choice but to use this incomplete space to teach everyone. If they were in possession of the full heaven splitting divine tablet, they wouldn't need to go through all this effort. The heaven splitting divine tablet could directly display the perfect ninth form. Furthermore, when the last generation sect master had taught the old man the ninth form of split the heavens, he had told the old man not to transmit the ninth form to multiple disciples unless he had no other choice. It was best to transmit it to only one person in every generation. That was because the incomplete heaven splitting divine tablet meant that many parts of the ninth form were lost. Although generations of sect masters had filled in those holes, there were definitely some flaws compared to the perfect ninth form, that made cultivating it far too dangerous. However, since the heaven-splitting divine tablet had not returned, the old man couldn't wait anymore. He could only teach them himself. The second boss also tried using heaven's wrath, but he wasn't as steady as boss Bao. The old man had him hold back 5% of his power but he was also blown back and exhausted after unleashing his attack. As for the heaven-splitting blade in the old man's hand, it was closely related to the heaven-splitting divine tablet, so the old man could control all the energy in this space. He was an undefeatable existence within this space, so he could face their attack safely. After the bosses finished, Long Chen realized that the heaven's wrath was to make oneself furious in a kind of self-hypnotic way while still being aware. If that was the case, Long Chen had a bit more confidence. As long as he wasn't insulted by someone, he should be able to unleash his own anger. Bao Buping was the last one to try, and he was sent tumbling back miserably. Chang Hao then helped him up. After that, everyone looked at Long Chen. Long Chen, it's your turn. You are different from the others. I will suppress the heavenly Tao energy using the heaven-splitting divine tablet to its weakest state. You are unable to control your own rage, so just unleash it all. Perhaps the crux to controlling this state lies within this, said the old man. But I'm worried about not controlling myself, said Long Chen. Don't worry, everything here is under my control. The old man was prepared with the heaven splitting blade. All right, I'll try it, Long Chen nodded. He closed his eyes, and the world turned still around him. Don't be afraid, release it. Remember to maintain your mind as you unleash your rage. Use your will to control it, said the old man. Long Chen's aura suddenly changed, becoming berserk. Astral winds unfurled around him, just like when Bao Buping and the others had tried the heaven's wrath state. Not bad. Keep going, bit by bit, encouraged the old man. Astral winds raged like wind blades whirling around the void. As Long Chen's fury soared, his aura grew colder. Excellent. You've reached the initial threshold. Now it's the critical moment. Summon your manifestation and connect to the heavenly deos. Stay steady, shouted the old man. When Long Chen's divine ring appeared, heaven and earth shuddered. A vast pressure crashed down on the world. Yes, just like this. Slowly infect the heavenly deos. Seeing Long Chen was still in control, the old man felt slightly better. It seemed that Long Chen's control wasn't as bad as he had thought. If this continued, he would succeed. Suddenly, Long Chen's eyes flew open. When the old man saw those eyes, his hair stood on end. It was like a furious devil had set its gaze on him. Control before the old man could finish speaking. Long Chen's divine ring grew explosively. A wild chi wave blew Bao Buping and the others back, and the endless deos were suppressed. 
Long Chen, control yourself, roared the old man. But Long Chen couldn't hear him. Long Chen's divine ring spun rapidly, tearing at the void. Boss Bao and the others jumped in shock. The heaven-splitting divine tablet space is going to break. The old man's expression changed. As Long Chen's aura grew, the heaven-splitting divine tablet was no longer able to maintain control over this place. The aura of the martial heaven continent began to flow inside through the cracks in space. The old man then switched out the heaven-splitting blade with his wooden cane. He struck Long Chen's abdomen with the staff, wanting to break him out of the heaven's wrath state. However, the tip of his cane shattered, and the old man was blown back by a violent power. What is going on? Where is all this energy coming from? The old man was shocked. This space was not the martial heaven continent. The heavenly Tao energy here was suppressed. So where was this power coming from? Suddenly, Long Chen roared. He had lost consciousness, and countless scenes were appearing in his mind. He saw scene after scene of when he was bullied in his childhood. His fury grew explosively along with his divine ring. With Long Chen at the center, the void was constantly exploding, looking like it might shatter into a million pieces at any moment. At this time, the old man's words were still present in Long Chen's mind, so he tried to maintain his mind. However, scenes flashed through his mind rapidly. Wild being stabbed with needles all over his body, Lu Fang'er dying to protect Meng Chi, Yi Zhikyu lying in his embrace with a final poignant smile, Little Snow taking the curse and dying for him. Every time those scenes appeared, Long Chen's fury would soar out of control. His essence, Qi, and spirit were no longer under his command. Flames and lightning burst out of Long Chen's body, and his aura grew more and more berserk. Boss Bao and the others could barely breathe under this pressure. Old man, you have to interrupt him. He's going crazy, shouted Boss Bao. Long Chen's eyes were scarlet. Endless resentment was pouring out of his heart. The old man stared closely at Long Chen. What is this child hiding inside of his heart? How does he have so much resentment? Taking a deep breath, the old man stepped forward with the heaven-splitting blade. He couldn't allow Long Chen to continue. Once Long Chen activated the six-star battle armor, he would probably instantly ignite his entire being, burning up his very existence. Don't do anything. He has a great deal of potential. So let him release it. Simply holding in all this resentment isn't good for someone. This can be considered a kind of release suddenly. Evil Moon's dark voice rang out. It appeared on Long Chen's back, blocking the old man. The old man's expression changed. How am I supposed to know whether or not you're trying to harm him? The old man did not fully trust Evil Moon. TCH, if it weren't for Long Chen, I wouldn't even bother speaking to you. Do you know that I'm someone who exchanged blows with the first generation sovereign, Yun Shang? Why would I bother lying to people like you? In any case, Long Chen's fury has started to unfurl. You can't stop him. If you tried, he would instinctively activate the six-star battle armor. At that time, this space will explode, and you will all be sent to the outside world. There, Long Chen will absorb the energy of the heavenly deos and grow even more terrifying. Unless someone on the level of Daoist Heavenly Feather appears, no one will be able to stop him, said Evil Moon arrogantly and disdainfully. Clearly, to it, not everyone was worthy of being spoken to pleasantly. Old man, didn't you say that everything was under your control? Boss Bao and the others' expressions changed. If something happened to Long Chen, how would they explain themselves to the rest of the Martial Heaven Continent's people? Before the old man could reply, Evil Moon indifferently said, your prediction was correct. If he was just absorbing heavenly Tao energy, Long Chen's power would be under your control. However, Long Chen's power is not what you think. Heavenly Tao energy? Haha, <laughs> have you ever seen the heavenly Deos care for him? Even if Long Chen does manage to learn the ninth form of split the heavens, it will definitely be different from yours. Don't worry, with my presence, everything will be fine. I know him better than you. Flames and lightning continued to explode out of Long Chen. They formed chains, tearing at the void. Ear-piercing sounds and sparks exploded. Damn, what kind of power is this? Boss Bao felt like his entire body was creaking under this pressure. It felt like he would explode under it. Comparatively, 
Bao Buping and Chang Hao were slightly better off. Perhaps it was because of their youth or because they were Empyreans. In any case, the seven bosses were barely able to endure, but they had nowhere to hide. The entire space was shuddering. Long Chen's fury continued to climb. It felt like his power would grow limitlessly. If this continued, the space really would explode. The terrifying thing about the Heaven's Wrath state was that it could unleash all of a person's power in an instant. This was the technique that allowed the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect to become the world's strongest sect in the past. He still hasn't reached his limit, demanded the old man. He couldn't help being worried for Long Chen. No, said Evil Moon indifferently. After an incense stick's worth of time, Bao Buping and the others were pressed to the ground and unable to move. Their heads were murky, and they almost fell unconscious. Just at this moment, a terrifying pressure soared, making the old man's expression change. Six stars appeared in Long Chen's divine ring. He was summoning the six-star battle armor. However, all of a sudden, a pill furnace appeared and struck Long Chen in the back of his head. The world returned to calm, and Long Chen fell limply to the ground. 